And here we are at the big Clarksville mm -hmm. high school football on a Friday night. Man, Bill's gonna have to fix this. I gotta figure out what is it. Oh, gotta hit send. 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 This. Oh, is it loose? Yeah, real loose. Radio group. Hello, Mr. Bill Ferris. All right, you get ready to go on, aren't you? Yeah, whenever you, uh, whenever you get ready to uh, turn us loose. You've already tested your uh, commercials. Oh yeah, yeah, we're good. Okay. Simon Family Business Story proudly supports Alma Airedale's. Oh, that's good. That's great. Yep. And listen, you notice I put in a Womack spot. It needs to run two times. It's the last thing in your uh, local. Yeah, spot. yeah, yeah, yeah. The Womack. Yep. All right, my friend, I will hook you up. Stand by. Okay. Ten four. All right, Jimmy, can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. All right, I'm planning to start with you to put you on in 15 seconds. That sounds good. I'm going to turn our mics right. down. Stand by. Coming up on 5, 4, 3, 2, the Alma Airedales are on the air on the Marshall 1230, 96.7, and 103.5. It's the Alma Airedales at home on the road right here. Brought to you by Simon Family Dentistry, Citizens Bank and Trust, Alma Farm Supply, Porter Trail Medical, by Tory Sign Shop, by Autoplex, and by Omega Truck Accessories, by Auker Funeral Home, by UA Fort Smith, by Lisa's Flea Market and Eagle Nest, also presented by Edwards Van Alma and by La Fiesta in Alma. Now let's go to the call of the game. Here's Jimmy Hawk, the voice of the Airedale. Thanks a lot, Mr. Bill Ferris. Welcome, my friends, to another night of exciting Alma Airedale football tonight. We are in Clarksville, Arkansas, home of the Panthers. Of course, uh, this is Whitson Morgan Field at Bill Matheny Stadium. They added this beautiful turf in 2016. It's a good-looking stadium, and Mike uh, Hessen joins me. You know, Mike, I always enjoy coming to Clarksville. Number one, one of my uh, one of my good friends, Marty Houston, is from Clarksville. Played football here at Clarksville, and, and uh, um, well, he was on the team. Let's just say that. There you go. Uh, but uh, no, I, I have a lot of friends here in Clarksville, and you know, people like our good friends out at out at South Park, and and uh, you know, China Fun. Just some of the different uh, some of the different places that you know that we that we go to. But always good to see our good friends here. And, you know, Coach Chris Buckner has, uh, he's got these, uh, these Clarksville Panthers where, you know, they're, uh, they're believing. And uh, they're in the 5A. They've been in the 4A for a few years and they're 5A. And uh, they've stepped it up and they, they, they're doing a good job in, uh, in Clarksville. They come in 1-3 and three on the season, 0-2 oh in the conference. But let me tell you something. One of those losses was uh, to overtime against Valonia, who was 4-1 and 2-0 and in oh the 5A. So yep. uh, this, team, uh, this team has a couple of running backs that absolutely get the job done. And, of course, we're talking about Alvarez and Wright. Uh, Alvarez comes in. Uh, averaging 6.9 yards per carry, 476 yards on the season. Wright comes in, Mike, averaging 9.9, .9, so almost 10 yards per carry, 427 yards on the season. Alvarez with five touchdowns on the year, and he is averaging 119 yards per game. This kid's a real deal. He can run the football. And Castleman will set it up at quarterback, and uh, those two uh, those two running backs will they'll be the uh, they'll be the workhorse tonight for the Panthers. And um, you know this ought to be an entertaining and exciting ball game. Yeah, like you said, at any time, them two running backs can just light it up because, uh, well, they've already done it all year long oh, so yeah. far. And uh, like you said, beautiful facility out here. It's a great night. It's beautiful. It's nice and cool. And uh, perfect. I think we're going to have some great football tonight. Perfect night for uh, for high school football. Certainly 
want to thank all of our fine sponsors and you know Bill uh, in our in our opening mentioned a few of them, but we also want to make sure that we we mention our good friends uh, at uh, CSI Radiator. Uh, that's Tim Adams and his crew, and they uh, they host the pregame and the postgame show. They are our sponsors here on the uh, Alma Radio broadcast, and uh, from cars to trucks to SUVs, motorhomes, farm equipment, if it has a radiator, CSI can flush and fill it, and if it needs to be repaired, they can also do that. And I've known Tim Adams, well, I've known Tim, Mike, I guess since I was probably four, five years old, <laughs> so I've literally known Tim about 55 years, 54 years, 53 years. Um, and, and you know he uh, he started out. He was uh, when I first met him. He was he was uh, working on the pit crew uh, when when my dad uh, raced out at Razorback Speedway and then over at uh, Tri-State. So yep. that's how long I've known uh, I've known Tim Adams. Uh, great guy, and uh, I guarantee you, if you've never been to a shop and it, it, there are radiators in there, I never knew were as big as what they are. Existed. And that guy that guy <laughs> can do it all. And, and CSI Radiator is our our pregame and postgame sponsor. We also want to take time out to mention uh, uh, our Warren Robertson at Shelter Insurance. We'll be uh, announcing our Shelter Insurance hard collision hit of the ball game. We do that each and every game late in the fourth quarter. Uh, we'll pick out a, a you know a, a player uh, for Alma who has, uh, and it may be on special teams, it may be on the defense, it could be on the offense. You never know. You never know. Uh, and uh, we award a, uh, a hard hit uh, collision uh, shelter insurance uh, player of the game. So it's always a lot of fun there. Let's uh, let's take a quick time out. You're listening to the CSI Radiator pregame show live from Clarksville, Arkansas, on the Marshall 96.7 FM. If you've been looking for dog food with elite nutrition without the high price, Alma Farm Supply is pleased to announce they now stock Extreme Dog Fuels line of elite nutrition dog foods, formulated with superior nutrition and ingredients sourced with extreme care to ensure food safety. Probiotics, chelated minerals, folic acid, glucosamine, and chondroitin included to provide elite nutrition. Puppies, active dogs, or not so active dogs, there's a formulation to meet the needs of your pet. Find elite nutrition for your dog at Alma Farm Supply, 428 Highway 64 East to Alma, I'll call 632-3194. Accidents are never fun. Don't take your vehicle to just anyone. The professional team at Autoplex is committed to quality first and your complete satisfaction. Our ASE certified technicians will repair your vehicle to pre-accident condition efficiently and quickly with a warranty on all repairs, on-site insurance filing, and rental cars available. At Autoplex, we look forward to making your experience with us easy in our state-of-the-art facility. Autoplex Collision Repair. Quality first, always. Simon Family Dentistry proudly supports Alma Airedale's athletics. Look to Dr. Jeremy Simon at Simon Family Dentistry. From tooth-colored fillings, braces, to root canal therapy, to dentures, bridges, and crowns, a visit to Simon Family Dentistry will have you flashing your brightest smile ever. Dr. Jeremy Simon and his caring staff welcome you to Simon Family Dentistry, 191 Highway 64 East in Alma. Open Monday through Thursday from 8 till 5. Behind the Airedales all the way, Simon Family Dentistry, 430-7049. Burning the truck of our neighbors and the respect of our peers. It's what the Ocker Funeral Home family has done for the last 100 years. Five generations of caring and those traditions truly make a difference with a more affordable price and superior service. You know you can depend on our family to serve your family. The Ocker family of funeral homes in Van Buren, Alma, and Fort Smith. Buying a new home can be stressful. Packing, paperwork, more packing, with all that goes along with making the big move. I'm so glad that I have Citizens Bank to guide me through the mortgage lending process. Their rates are competitive, and that's important, but the friendly, knowledgeable lenders taking the guesswork out of home loans is where Citizens really shines. And that means a lot, because I have more packing to do. Citizens Bank and Trust, that's my bank. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Welcome back, everyone. Getting set for kickoff here. Clarksville still have about five and a half minutes, so if you're on your way down to the stadium, and Clarksville's right off of Interstate 40. Good-looking facility. You can uh, you can see it from the highway. It's exit 57. Very easy to get to, and I guarantee you, once you uh, once you get in, plenty of room to sit because they've limited all the tickets at every venue. Here's one of the things I do not like about COVID, Mike, and I'm just going to share it with you. And, I hope that uh, all of our friends, you know, watching on the live stream and listening uh, at home understand um, in high school football, one of the things 
that attracts me to it is the atmosphere. Love the atmosphere of high school football. Oh, yeah. Well, when Alma is on the road, they do not have the luxury of having their band here. Right. And that band in Alma works their tails off each and every day. They march, they practice marching, they practice playing, mm -hmm. and uh, the intricate detail of some of the routines that they do, and they're unable to, to travel on the road. And I, I absolutely hate that for them because those, those kids, they, you know, they, they work hard for this, and, and those oh, seniors, yeah. you know, would be the last time that they would be able to you know, go on the road and, and march at some of these facilities. And I, you know, I wish that they could all be here, but um, I understand, you know, for, for safety reasons and to make sure everyone's safe and, and uh uh, you know, not uh, not being exposed uh, to uh, potentially to the virus. I, I get it. I don't have to like it, but I get it. But you get it, yeah. You know, and and um, they uh, they are sorely missed. You know, on the road, they do such a great job, and and I always enjoy. And, and I can tell you, I've heard so many people comment about how great the Alma Band is. Whenever you know we're you know we're on the road. So yeah. uh, right. for all of our band members and and uh, everyone that's. Uh, that's uh, having to stay at home tonight. We miss you. We wish you were here with us. And uh, for our fans that are unable to, you know, to, to get the tickets because there is only a limited number of tickets that they'll, and limited number of people they'll let in, we miss you as well. But we're certainly glad that you're tuning in on the Marshall 96.7, also AM 1230, and, of course, on the Airedale uh, live stream. So um, tonight's game, here's the way it looks in the 5A West. Moulton sitting on top, 2-0. Bologna's on top with them, tied at 2-0. Uh, Harrison 1-0. Those are the only undefeated teams in the conference that uh, that's in the 5A. Greenbrier and Pea Ridge are tied at 1-1. Farmington is 0-1. Farmington's had just outbreak after outbreak yep. of COVID, and, and uh, the, the, you know those those poor guys and gals up there have really struggled. Um, hopefully, they'll be able to get their season in, but uh, they they've had to postpone and cancel some games. So <clears throat> right now, Farmington is uh, is 0-1 in the conference, but they will uh, they'll manage. You know they'll they'll get back on track. Uh, Clarksville and Alma are, are 0 and 2. So this is a must win for both of these teams right. tonight. Exactly. You're exactly right. Somebody's got to come out of here. Somebody's going to come out of here a winner. Sure. And uh, that's why I think you're going to see a uh, a real real hard hitting game tonight. I think yep. you're going to see a lot of a lot of hard hits tonight. Oh, I, I fully agree. You're listening to the CSI Radiator pregame show. Compliments for our good friends at CSI Radiator. It is. Uh, from uh, commercial to uh, industrial, um, if it uh, has a radiator, CSI can flush, fill it, or if it's leaking, they can fix that too. CSI radiator, you can give those guys and gals a call. They're at 3204 Wheeler Avenue at Fort Smith, and you can uh, you can certainly give them a call today at 434-6034. So it's uh, it's uh, a, a a local business in Fort Smith, locally owned and locally operated. It's Tim Adams and his crew. At CSI, they are our uh, pregame pre uh, sponsors. We also want to thank uh, Adam Daly and uh, the crew at the, uh, at the pizza place. They, uh, they knocked a home run again tonight. <laughs> uh, Missy's down there tonight. Morgan, Logan, and Wyatt. Um, you can get three, uh, three pizzas, 28 bucks. And, uh, you know, you don't want to wait too long because, you know, you, uh, you wait too long. Uh, they'll already be closed and gone home and and, uh, and watching the game on the live stream. So, <laughs> but uh, they uh, they take care of us when we're on the road and and uh, Adam and his crew again uh, knocked it out of the park. The uh, I, I love the meat lovers. You know the little extra, extra crispy. crispy. Oh my goodness! <laughs> you talk about good tonight. All hey right. Mike, let's uh, talk a little bit about this uh, about this stadium. You know it's uh, it's gorgeous. Um, and uh, last year the uh, the Panthers went four and six, one and six in the conference. Uh, they uh, they're coached by uh, Coach Chris Buckner, and uh, he uh, he's uh, overall in ten years. Uh, he is forty three and fifty four. He's eight and thirty two at Clarksville. And here's the ironic thing: you know, he's he's trying to build a tradition here uh, in the last ten years at Clarksville. And this this just this absolutely blew my mind. Clarksville's averaging two point two wins a year. They've had twenty two wins in ten years. You look on the flip side: Alma in the last ten years, seventy wins. They're averaging. Seven wins a year. Yeah. So that just, I mean, it absolutely blew my mind when I saw that stat because Clarksville, Clarksville's always been a tremendous basketball school, but their football team has had some good athletes come out of here as well. Yeah. And with uh, with them winning four games last year, Coach uh, Coach Buckner has them uh, has them trending in the right direction. So 
The, uh, the Airedales tonight going to be uh, led by uh, Logan Cronister. Uh, Cronister on the season averaging 123 yards per game, 6.2 yards per carry. And uh, he will uh, he'll be the workhorse tonight for the Airedales. Of course, you know, Alma will, uh, will lean heavily on Derek Hatcher, the sophomore quarterback, who gets the call tonight. Alma will be receiving the football. And uh, okay, we'll Clarksville. okay, Clarksville will be okay. Well, I, I missed the coin toss. Uh, Aaron uh, Aaron uh, Wilkinson will uh, will be handling the kicking duties tonight. Alma has has some players out that that are injured and uh, are unavailable tonight, and uh, so we're going to be uh, we're going to be calling out some different names. So we're uh, we're getting set to get underway. And you've been listening to the CSI Radiator pregame show. Compliments of our good friends at CSI. Four three four six zero three four. If it has a radiator, flush, fill it, or fix it, they can do that. Wilkinson kicks it high. It's going to be fielded at about the 25 on the run to the 30. 35 hit in the uh, 30 uh, in back behind the 30 and thrown back is the uh, is the ball carrier. Couldn't even see who that was. Number five, Roderick Robinson. Robinson? Yep. So I don't even have a five on my sheet. <laughs> so we'll, so we'll, we'll, do, we'll do the best we can. We got her. Yeah. Miles Councilman is the uh, starting quarterback. They lean heavily on Jalen Wright and Arthur Alvarez uh, to, uh, to run the football. Wright in the backfield, and now penalty flag already. As it looks, I think Alma jumped. Waiting. As uh, the, uh, the Panthers did a shift before they become set, and it's five yards on the penalty. The ball will be marked on the 36-yard line. It, it's it's a little bit tough. Now, I want you to look at this defense that we're running tonight. We've got six down linemen. Now, I want you to watch this. this well, that's, be uh, that's because the, uh, the, the the tailbacks. Yep. You know, you, you have uh, Alvarez and you have uh, Jalen Wright. Here we go. So here we go. Castleman. As they run a shift again. Shotgun formation. They overload to the right side. Castleman. Gets a snap, direct snap, going to take it and run it right up the gut. He picks up the first down. Actually, the snap went to Arthur Alvarez. And uh, Trey Fusler on the tackle. They'll move the football to the 44-yard line of Clarksville. And it is first down at 10 Panthers. Fusler, Connor Stacy playing center field for the Airedales. Clarksville will not throw the football that much. Now they shift again. Snap goes to Jalen Wright this time. Wright busted it back to the right side, breaks the tackle, picks up 13 yards, and they move the chains. What they do, Mike, is they just line up. They have two tailbacks in the backfield, and they snap it to either one of them. Which one of them, you know, is called in the huddle as to, who, you know, whoever's going to get the football. Yeah, that was, if it wasn't for Connor Stacy on that on that tackle right there, that'd been six because he yeah, was yeah he was gone. He was going to have nothing but open field ahead of him. Panthers move the football to the Airedale 43. First down at 10. First drive of the night for Clarksville. They shift again. They overload on the left side. That is the wide side of the field. They run a reverse. They pitch it back to this side to Jacob Buckner and Buckner is going to pick up about 15 yards on the carry. The flow of the play was going to the left, and they pitch it to Buckner, who was coming back against the grain, Mike. And, yep. and Alma had uh, overloaded their defense on the right side of the defensive line. And uh, just a little misdirection by uh, Clarksville. They have the football first and 10 on the Airedale 24. Yeah, and again, Connor Stacy with the, with the stop. In the backfield. Left side on the run. That's Jalen Wright. Yeah. That kid's got some wheels, man. He's good. He's Very good. got some wheels. They're moving the ball down the field. First and 10 on the Airedale 15. Airedale defense looking to uh, slow this down. Clarksville's not faced a third down on this drive as of yet. Different set now for the Panthers. You never know who they're gonna who they're gonna snap it to. Yeah. Jalen Wright again. He reverses, comes back to the right side, breaks a couple of tackles, spins in the middle, 
inside the 10 down to about the nine yard line. Jalen Wright on the season has carried the football 43 times. Alvarez has been the one that's carried it the most. He's carried it 69 times. But Jalen Wright's also the one averaging 10 yards per carry. Yeah. Second down and four. If you notice when he gets the ball and he hits the hole, he's full steam. Yep. He's running nothing but downhill. Alvarez lined up to the left. Wright lined up to the right. Let's see who gets the snap this time. It's going to be Alvarez trying the right side. He has a whole host of blockers inside the five. Touchdown, Clarksville. Mm. Wake you up. <laughs> <laughs> 9.07 left to play in the opening quarter. I think somebody next door in the room shot a muzzle loader. Uh, I think they did. <laughs> so Clarksville takes the opening kickoff, drives it right straight down the field, never even looked at passing the ball. And they go in for the first score of the ball game. PAT coming up. Good snap, good hold. Kick is up. It's long enough. And it is good. 9.07 left to play opening quarter. Clarksville draws first blood. They lead 7-0 over the Airedales. Alma fixing to get their first possession of the game. We'll be back with more right after this. Buying a new home can be stressful. Packing, paperwork, more packing. With all that goes along with making the big move, I'm so glad that I have Citizens Bank to guide me through the mortgage lending process. Their rates are competitive, and that's important, but the friendly, knowledgeable lenders taking the guesswork out of home loans is where Citizens really shines. And that means a lot, because I have more packing to do. Citizens Bank huh? That's my bank. Uh, looks like you Trey Fusler and... Equal housing lender. Is that Connor? Trey Fusler and Jacob Corsi First back deep to receive for the Airedales. Clarksville drawing first blood. 9.07 left to play in the opening quarter. Glad to have you tuned in tonight to the Marshall 96.7 FM and also AM 12.30. Mike Kesson, Jimmy Huss on the broadcast here in Clarksville. Ball is teed up. Nice deep kick. He's going to kick it all the way in the end zone. It's a good kick by A. Shea. A. Shea. And the Airedales will have the football first down and 10 on their own 20. So Derek Hatcher, the sophomore, 5'9", 155-pound, will uh, take over at quarterback. First time we've got to see Derek this year. Thank you, Mr. Bill. Appreciate that. Cronister in the backfield. Two wide outs to the right on first and ten. Now they run Connor Stacy in motion. Logan Cronister on the right side. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Cronister midfield. And I think there was a penalty flag thrown across the way, wasn't there, Mike? Well, you see one? Hey, it looked while ago. I thought there was too, but somebody had on some yellow shoes. Uh let's see. Right here. This guy's yeah, got yeah, yeah, shoes back on. here. No, they're they're coming back. That, that's going to be wiped off. Uh, let's see what the call is. It's going to be holding on Alma. So that'll be a 10-yard penalty. Wow. I still, you know, and I, I thought I saw a flag, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> so a nice carry by Cronister is erased, and they will reset first down for the Airedales. They move the ball back to the 25. It's a spot foul. So the penalty occurred at the 35 after Cronister had already picked up the first down. However, they mark off 10 yards. Yep. It's first down and five uh, now. Yeah. So, you know, you erase a big carry, but it still doesn't it doesn't hurt you as bad. At least it's not first and 20. Right. Here come the Airedales. They move Riley White and Connor Stacy wide to the left side. Cronister in the backfield. Cronister gets the call right up the middle, breaks a couple of tackles, falls forward for a couple of yards. And it'll be second down and about three now for Alma. Derek Hatcher, sophomore, getting his first start of the season. Got to be a little nerves going there, man. I, I would believe so, too. I, mean, but I, I think now, though, after the first couple of plays, he's settled right in. Yeah. Looks like he's pretty comfortable back there right now. Connor Stacy, Jacob Corsi, wide to the left side for the Airedales on second down and three. Hatcher, shotgun formation, has Cronister in the backfield. Hands off to Logan. Logan. Stopped at the line of scrimmage, battles forward. That kid's got heart, man. Yeah, he does. He was stopped, Mike, right back at the 25, but managed to keep pushing and picked up the first down. You know what? That that's uh, that's just an Airedale football player right there. Yeah, well, he. I mean, he runs like nobody's business, man. I mean, he 
his, like I said the other last about two weeks ago, he, he don't quit quit driving them legs till he's down on the ground. So the Airedales move the chains. First down and ten from their own thirty. Seven to nothing. Clarksville just underway. First drive of the night for the Airedales. They send Connor Stacy wide to the left side with Corsi wide to the right. Now they run Corsi in motion on a drag route, and they're going to throw a penalty and stop the play before it ever gets going. And it will be a procedure penalty on the Airedales. It'll be first and 15 as they'll mark the ball off back to the 25. So first down and 15, Alma. Hmm. The penalty is it just me or does it look like every Clarksville player is like over six foot tall? On yeah, that I, line? I was sitting here looking at the sideline. I was like, extremely tall. 77, 76, yeah, extremely tall. I mean, they're just some big guys. So Alma will be facing first and 15 from their own 25. Corsi, Connor Stacy, the wide to the left side. Nobody in the pattern on the right. Cronister in the backfield with Hatcher. Hatcher rolling back to pass. Going to be sacked back at the 15. Rolling out to his left. They're going to mark him down at the 17-yard line. It'll be second down and a couple of acres. Brantley Johnson just shot the gap on it. He was coming on a blitz. And let me tell you, he was in the backfield before he ever actually got the ball, I believe. I ain't yeah. kidding. He was, he was there when he looked up. It's going to be second down at 23 hmm. after the sack. Clock is running. 6.35 left to play in the opening quarter. 7 to nothing, Clarksville. Connor Stacy wide to the right side. And another penalty. Nope, Alma's going to take a timeout. The coaches saw something they just didn't like on the, on the set, Mike, and so yeah. they took a timeout to, uh, to uh, make sure that that second down play was what, exactly what they wanted. So let's take this timeout to 6.24 left to play in the first quarter. 7 to nothing, Clarksville. You're listening to Airedale Football on the Marshall 96.7 FM. Alma Farm Supply says nothing is better for your wildlife than a food plot that provides nutrition 24-7, regardless of the weather or your schedule. You can start fall food plots now with a visit to Alma Farm Supply. Find a large seed mix with wheat, oats, rye, winter peas, and cow peas, plus two small seed mixes, one a blend of four clovers, including fixation clover, and one with a blend of annual greens containing turnip, rapeseed, kale, and radishes. Seed blends from Whitetail Institute also available. Give your wildlife the nutrition they need with a food plot mix from Alma Farm Supply. 428 Highway 64 East in Alma. Call 632-3194. Alma Farm Supply. Welcome back, everyone. Time out. Uh, first time out of the half for Alma. Facing a second down and 23 from their own 17. Have to move the ball to the 40 to pick up a first down and move the chains. Here come the Airedales. Hatcher. Shotgun formation. Has Braden Allen. At the tight end spot on the left side. Two wide outs. Now they run a man in motion from right to left. Hatcher back to pass. Throwing in the slot. Got a man. That's Connor Stacy. Complete at the 25. And it will be third down, depending on the spot. They're going to mark him down at the 26. It will be third down and 14, Alma. He had to go and get that. He had to kind of get up the ladder a little bit to get that ball. Corsi and Nehemiah Relliford wide to the left side on third and 14. Hatcher back to pass, throwing again. It's complete to Braden Allen. Short of the first down, though, he will be marked down at the 39-yard line. It'll be fourth down and one. And you got to wonder, with this young Alma team, if they're just not going to line up and go for it. And they are. They're going to keep the guys in there. Yep. And now Clarksville is going to take a timeout. Yeah, they got to. As they saw Alma lining up to go for it. The ball is resting on the Airedale's 39-yard line. And I, like the, I like the call by Coach Rusty Bush. Yeah. Well, you saw how fast Alma got to the line, and Clarksville was just kind of – they didn't know what to do. They just kind of lost there for a second. Well, they, uh, they had to call a timeout. So now each team has taken one timeout, and uh, they're going to talk it over. It, it caught him off guard. I yeah. don't think that uh, I don't think that Coach Buckner was expecting Alma to go for it with the ball on their own 39. But you know you uh, you can't uh, you can't win if you don't gamble. That's right. That's why they call it football. So look at here, bringing in the meat package right there, guarantee. son. See, I don't I don't have a 77. Brian Fontaine. Brian Fontaine. I don't have a 77 on mine. So he's a big old boy. Glad we have uh, that roster there. 
So here comes the uh, the Airedales facing a fourth down and one. Now I have seen Alma fake the fourth down play and, and, call and quick kick, pooch kick. Pooch kick. My dad loved that. <laughs> uh, there's nobody back for Clarksville right now. So um, if think. they decide to do that, Hatcher's under center. I think they're just going to run the football. Chronister, I formation for the Airedales on fourth and one. They give it to the first man through. He busted through it, has the first down. That's Logan Chronister on the carry. Great blocking up front. Let's give a little credit yeah. up front. The uh, the guys, uh, Seth Cole and uh, also uh, Smith was right up front uh, doing, uh, and uh, uh, Parker Siminski, all those cats doing a great job. Also, uh, uh, Judson Parker, Justin Parker yeah. doing a great job up front blocking. Alma moves the football on the fourth down and one. They carry it all the way out to the 47-yard line, first and 10 Airedales. So they gamble on fourth down and picks it up. Chronister gets the call. Going to lose two yards, trying the left side. And Mike, there was no room over there as Clarksville had overloaded. Yeah, he, that perfect. He ran right in the back of Justin Parker. And uh, and he just kind of, there wasn't nowhere to go. He was wrapped up and thrown down just as fast as he hit him. Second down and 12. The ball is resting on the Airedale 45-yard line. 442 and counting left to play in the first quarter. 7 to nothing, Clarksville. Connor Stacy, Jacob Corsi wide to the left side for the Airedales. Chronister gets the call right up the middle, busted outside, face held mask. up in a face mask. I think you're right. I think that's going to be the call on Clarksville yeah. because Chronister just got spun around. Yeah, he, look, I thought at first he had a hold of his jersey, so I wasn't sure if it was going to be a face mask or not, but he spun him around pretty good, and, and uh, we'll have to we'll wait and see. Let's see what the call is. It is going to be a personal foul. That's yeah. a 15-yard face mask, so yeah. that will be an Airedale first down. They'll move the chains all the way into the uh, – Panther end of the football field, and Alma was set up first down and 10 on the Panther 40. Yeah, he spun him around like a windmill, and he didn't let go, so you know it's going to be a personal foul. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, hey, sometimes you get your fingers in there and you get and There's nothing you can do. No, you yep. can't. Sometimes you get them in there yep. twisted, and you're just hanging. You're, you're, sometimes you're hanging on for dear life. Corsi and Stacy wide to the right side. Cronister in the backfield with Hatcher. He gets a snap. The handoff to Chronister around the right side, 35-30. Logan Chronister knocked out of bounds after picking up 12 yards, maybe 13 on the carry. Good blocking, and they sealed off that end, and he got to the outside and picked up uh, 10, maybe 12 yards. Mike, good run. Yeah, he. Uh, I think Jake, of course, he was out there leading that block for him, and after he got that end turned, he had plenty of, plenty of daylight to run. So uh, actually picked up uh, nine. Yeah, it was, a good, uh, it was a good call, good play call. Here. First down and 10. Back to pass. Hatcher throwing over the middle. Got a man, and he was broken up. The intended receiver was Connor Stacy at the 10 yard line. He had a step on the defender, but a good effort on defense by the, uh, by the defensive back knocked it away. And it will be third down and one. I, I, you know, I honestly, I thought he had the first down. Yeah, I, he, thought, I thought Croster had the first down on the last play, but they said he stepped out of bounds at the. 31. So the Airedale's facing third and one. And on a bay, you know, you go for the home run ball on yeah. second down. Right up the middle. Right up the middle. Logan Chronister, first down and 10 Alba. Chronister carries it to the 27-yard line. They'll move the chains again. Clock is still running. 358 to play in the opening quarter. 7 to nothing, Clarksville. Now, I'm going to tell you something. The difference between this stadium and that stadium was that last week. They got some great lighting here. Oh, yeah, the you lighting's can, perfect here. You can see yeah. everybody, everything. It was really field. dark in, in Harrison. It was. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know if they just maybe didn't have the angles of the lights turned that's, right. I, I think that's, that's what, what it was. was. Yeah. yeah, I think it's exactly what it was. Because they had plenty of lighting. I just don't think they had them turned, you know, to, uh, facing the field. First down at 10, Airedales. They pitch it around the corner, and that play's going to be dead in the water. They were looking at Jacob Corsi as they pulled him from right to left, and Corsi had nowhere to go. He tried to find a seam and <laughs> cut it back, Mike. Yeah, he stopped and cut it up the field, but uh, no gain on the play. They just had it strung out all the way. Second down and 10. Boy, my allergies are killing me today. Uh-oh. Yeah, just allergy season. Connor Stacy, Jacob Corsi wide to the right side. That's a wide side of the field for the Airedales. Chronister in the backfield. Derek Hatcher, shotgun. Now they run Connor. The handoff to Chronister. It's going to be hit at the line of scrimmage. Maybe picked up a yard. Third down and nine, Alma. This is not where you want to be, you know, if you're Alma. The no. third down and longs have been, have been hard. have been tough for them. Nathan Wayland now checks out. 
and uh, he'll come out of the game. They've been lining Whalen up at one of the tight ends. Tight ends and running uh, Brandon Allen as an mm -hmm. H-back, basically. So on third down and nine, we'll see what the offense draws up. Clock is running. 2.20 left to play opening quarter. Airedales with the ball at the 26-yard line. Back to pass. Hatcher looking. Has a man. And he overthrows Connor Stacy's intended receiver at about the 20. He had some running room if the pass could have been complete. And, you know... around 26 yard line so the Panthers hold on fourth and uh, fourth and nine Airedales had picked up a fourth down play earlier and here comes Clarksville you have Wright and Alvarez in the backfield Alvarez gets the call. Alvarez going to be hit and stopped. He's going to lose some yardage. That is the first play for negative yards as the Alma defense has, has fourth. I think they saw some things on that first drive. They made some adjustments. And, uh, so it was, and yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it, yep. And listen, uh, Coach Presley made some adjustments. He said, ah, no, 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 we're, this is what we're going to do now. And uh, so on the first play uh, from scrimmage on the second drive, they threw him for a loss. That's the first time they've, they've been able to do that after that first drive. So. That, you know, that's just, that's changing and doing things on the fly, man. That's what you do. Second down and 12. We're going to run a reverse back to this side. The ball carrier will be number 15, Jacob Buckner. Got to be the coach's son, huh? Yeah, but we saw it. Can't see it. Number Picked up five yards, maybe four yards. It'll be third down and eight. That was Parker Slavinsky on the tackle. Yep. Hey, listen, Coach Presley's made. He made it. He, I mean, they they made some adjustments. They're seeing yeah. they're seeing it from uh, from the booth, and they're changing changing it down on the field. And man, I'm loving it. Defense looks totally different than that first drive. Yep. Third down and eight. Ball is resting at the 28 yard line of Clarksville under center now. The quarterback. They hand off left side, and their Alma and Airedale defense has come to play as uh, they, uh, they handed it off to Jalen Wright, and he was shut down, Mike. And uh, it'll be fourth down and four. That is just a great defensive stand by the Airedale defense after after the uh, the first drive from Clarksville went right down the field. Yeah, Landon Burkhardt. Great. Play there. Like you said, they, they changed it up. They went from that, you know, they said earlier, they had six <laughs> bringing up and then shooting, actually basically what they're doing is shooting a gap, shooting a gap. So they're lining up like they're going to go for it, Michael, fourth and four from their own 33-yard line. They are going to go for it. And Alvarez is going to pick up, the, no, you know what, he was close. I, at first I thought they might have been able to stop him. They hit him at the 35. He needed four, he picked up five. He, he picked up the first down, but well, he was punished whenever he picked up that last yard. I didn't see who hit him, but I heard it. Because <laughs> I'm telling you. I want, to, I want to say it was it maybe Xander Polito. And that's the end of the first quarter. So after one quarter, the Panthers lead the Airedales. Seven nothing. You're listening to Alma Airedale football on the Marshall 96.7 FM. Hey, Alma. Did you know you have a really cool flea market that does layaway? Has over 60 vendors, furniture, knickknacks. Eagle Nest Flea Market at 4704 North Highway. Football. Second quarter getting underway now. 
Live from Clarksville. Panthers leading 7 to nothing over the Alma Airedale. Second drive of the evening for the Panthers. They have the ball first down and 10 on their own 37-yard line. There's a switch ends of the field. They run a unique offense. The only time that they'll put their quarterback in, who is Miles Castleman, is whenever they, you know, they're on short yardage, Mike. Other than that, they'll uh, they'll run him most of the time. Uh, Castleman under center. They hand off trying something different. Now, here's what they've done. They've adjusted to what Alma adjusted yeah. to on defense because before they were just wildcatting it, oh, yeah. direct snapping direct it to uh, Alvarez and to uh, Jalen Wright. Well, Alma's, Alma's adjusted to that and shut that down, so now they're putting Castleman, and he comes out of the ball game this time, and they send in number 15, Jacob Buckner. Not sure if they're going to have a quarterback under center or they're just going to wildcat it and direct snap it to uh, one of the tailbacks. We'll, we'll wait and see. It will be the wildcat set. No one under center. They'll just snap it to one of the tailbacks. And a penalty flag comes out before the play ever gets underway. It was second down and six. It's going to be against Clarksville. Procedure penalty. And they'll mark off five yards. It'll move the ball back to the 35 of Clarksville. It will be second down and 12 now for the Panthers. Cole Christman checks back into the ball game for Clarksville. Brings the play in from the sideline. Here we go. Wildcat formation. Alvarez, Jalen Wright in the backfield on second and 12. Now they overload to the right side. Alma shifts on defense. Alvarez gets the call. Trying to get outside. Breaks a couple of tackles. Still on his feet. Corsi with him. Devin also uh, Devin Poole. Yep. And, uh, yeah, take, take course in Devin Poole there. Gain on the play of about seven yards. It will be third down and five now with the ball resting on the Clarksville 42-yard line. Big play here for the Panthers. They went for it on fourth down. They bring the quarterback, Castleman, in. He'll be under center. Castleman on third down and five. And a penalty flag start. flies, false start before yep. the play ever gets going. It'll be third down and ten. What well, is that that lead, <clears throat> the way they're running that Wildcat offense, whoever's on that lead side, he's trying to get about a step, step, step to block. Step, step to block, and he's getting <clears throat> caught every time. So third down and ten as they move it back to the 37-yard line. We'll have to see if. Castleman, he is coming back in, so he'll go under center. And they bring Chris, in Roderick Robinson. Roderick Robinson. And Chrisman, yeah. They bring in Robinson and put him in the uh, in the backfield. Shotgun formation for Castleman on third and ten. Castleman, play action. Here comes the pressure. They throw it downfield. He's got Robinson wide open at the 40. Complete 30, 25, 20. He's going to carry it to the house, Mike. But a penalty flag back here at the 30. Four yard line, and I think they shot off the cannon a little bit too prematurely because I think this play is coming all the way back. Yeah, I believe you got. I think they wasted call. a. I think they wasted one of their bombs. <laughs> I believe it was a holding call. Probably I think about so. right around the thirty. Well, I wondered how. I wondered how uh, how Robinson got so wide open, and uh, he just got behind the defenders. And they're going to bring this thing all the way back. You know, similar to what Chronister uh, that forty yard run Chronister had. Yep. Is that a legal man downfield? Is that what they called? Uh, I didn't see. Let's well, see how many yards they mark off. Or Whitehead hadn't done anything yet. Yeah, no, he made the call. Oh, did he? Yeah. It's a five-yard penalty. Yeah, it is a legal man downfield. It'll be third down and 15. They'll mark the ball. I think that's what it was. They'll mark the ball back at the 32. Honestly, from, from our broadcast position, I, I was blocked. By the yeah. T post in the middle, so <laughs> I just I, I didn't see him. Third down and fifteen. Big play now for Clarksville. And Alma's gonna take a timeout. Second timeout of the uh, first half of the Airedales. We'll take the timeout with them. 9.35 to play. 
Clarksville leads the Airedales 7 0. Think back with more on the Marshall 96 7 FM. Edwards Van Alma Funeral Home proudly supports local youth athletic programs. They send best wishes to area teams for a great year and a winning football season. A reminder to players that whether you're in the classroom or on the field, work hard, play hard, be the best you can be. Good luck to everyone from Edwards Van Alma Funeral Home, your local dignity memorial provider. I'm Steve Womack, candidate for Congress, and I approve this message. It's so good to see y'all. Could you pass the cream? Here you go. Have y'all been following the election? I have, and there is a clear choice for Congress. Steve Womack. I agree. He has a proven record of governing. I remember when Steve was mayor, he led our city through all of our major developments, our roads, the convention center, the promenade, and don't forget the wellness center. It's just awesome. Did you know that Steve served in our military for over 30 years? He's a retired Army colonel, and he knows the importance of a strong military. Welcome back, everyone. Third down at 15 now for the Clarksville Panthers. Ball is resting at their own 32-yard line. Back to pass. Being flushed out of the pocket, turning it upfield. Throwing it, complete at the 40, 45, knocked out of bounds, close to the first down. I think he picked it up, Mike. Oh, yeah. I think he got the first down on third down at 15. Number 18, and uh, Castleman, Miles Castleman, was running for his life. Managed to get outside the containment, had a little uh, little room to run over there. Yeah, and, he was uh, just, just, a, just lobbed it. He was just sitting in the pocket over there and caught the ball, and Devin Poole chased him down from behind, threw him out of bounds. So the ball is resting on Clarksville 49-yard line. First down and 10 Panthers. Wildcat formation. They do not have a quarterback in there. They just run uh, Alvarez and also Jalen Wright. Jalen Wright gets the call right side. They snap the ball directly to him. He's going to pick up about five yards as he moves into the Alma end of the football field. Second down and five. Maybe closer to six, but I think they're going to give him five, and they do. Five on the carry. Second down and five now for Clarksville. Clock is running. 9.07 left to play in the first half. Panthers lead the Airedale seven to nothing. First drive went right straight down the field. This one's a little bit tougher for them this yeah. time. Well, Alma's made some uh, adjustments. adjustments. Yeah, they've made some adjustments on their defense. Uh, Seen them throwing the ball a little bit more than we expected. He's only thrown it 15 times this year. I know it. Second down and five for Clarksville. Wildcat. Alvarez, the ball carrier, inside the 45, stopped at the 45. A gain on the play of maybe a yard, maybe a yard and a half, Mike. It'll be third down and three. This is huge now for Alma. You can get them to third down, put a stick on them, stop them, then make them uh, uh, make a decision on whether they're going to go for it on fourth down. Who was that made that stop? I couldn't tell. It's on, it was on the other side of the field, and I couldn't see. Two or three Airedales. Yeah, well, Lynn, I think Landon Burkhart was on yeah. the bottom, had him wrapped up. Jalen Wright, Alvarez in the Wildcat. Wright gets the call, picks up the first down as he carries it inside the Airedale 40 to about the 39-yard line. He needed three, picked up five, and they move the chains. First down and 10, Clarksville. Just power running. Yeah. First down and 10. Right, they run a reverse back to the right side, turning it up the field, taking off with it. Jacob Buckner. Yep. They snap it to right, who's in the Wildcat. Buckner was moving from left to right. They just hand it off to him, and Flo was going to the left. They reversed it back to the right. He picked up nine yards, second down and one. Ball is resting on the Airedale 30. Wildcat. Wright has it. Spins around right up the middle. Almost breaks another tackle. Carried it to the 20. They'll move the chains. Well, that was dangerous. Yeah, that whoever made that tackle, he's still down. Yeah, he uh, it was a touchdown saving tackle. Yeah, it's Jacob, Jacob Corsi. He just wrapped him up around the legs, man. He had to do something because he was gone. 
Jalen Wright is six foot, 188 pound senior. And Alvarez is 5'11. He's a sophomore, 160 pounds. They're going to have him for two more years. Kid's a good ball player. First down and 10 from the Airedale 22 yard line. Panthers with the football. They lead 7 0 in the second quarter. And run it back to Buckner. On the left side, Buckner's going to be hit and tripped up. First guy to get to him that was, was uh, Xander Polito. Yep. Good play. Gain on the play of one yard, second down and nine from the Airedale 21. Miles Kesselman and yeah, Kesselman back in Cole quarterback. Kesselman. Both come in. Yeah, Kesselman shotgun formation on second and nine. Kesselman back to pass, play action, throwing it wide open in the end zone. Touchdown, Clarksville. Wide open on the right side, and the Panthers with their second touchdown on their second drive. Yep. Yeah, he just he just outran Aaron Wilkerson to the back of the end zone was all he did. That just straight up running. It was a good play. It was a good looking pass. Yeah. Hit him in stride. Right in the numbers. A Shea in for the extra point. Good snap. Ooh. And it's low. It goes underneath the crossbar. It's no good. 5.53 left to play in the first half. Panthers lead the Airedales 13 to nothing. You're listening to Alma Football on the Marshall 96.7 FM. You deserve an education that works as hard as you do. You deserve the University of Arkansas Fort Smith. UAFS offers the flexibility of online, in-person, and hybrid courses to fit your needs. Choose from more than 80 degree and certificate programs delivered by experienced faculty and enjoy one of the most affordable tuition rates in Arkansas. Take control of your future. Become a Lion today. Learn more at uafs.edu slash join the pride. Welcome back, everyone. 5.53 left to play in the first half. 13 to nothing. Clarksville leading Alma. Yeah, we saw the, uh, I see the yellow shoes over there. That's exactly what I thought was a penalty flag a minute ago, Mike. Yeah. I, I see them now. I see what you were talking about. Yeah, they get, uh, actually got some fluorescent orange and uh, yeah. short truce yellow. Yep. <laughs> Fusler, Corsi back deep to receive. He kicked it all the way through the end zone last time. Yeah, he's got a leg. And he'll fall short there. Yeah, it's going to be Corsi at the 5 to the 10, the 15, 20. No, nope, you know what? That's not Corsi. Is that Kevin Mills? The 45. Uh, couldn't see. He's uh, number two. Or Is that Braden Taylor? I, I literally couldn't see the number. Yeah, uh, it's either Kevin Mills or Braden Taylor, man. I, yeah. I can't tell if that far over there, but I think it was... I think it was Mills. First down and 10, a great return now, all the way back to the 45 of Alma. Here comes Derek Hatcher. Shotgun formation, has Cronister in the backfield. Two wide outs to the right for the Airedales. Braden Allen in the tight end, Connor Stacy in motion, right to left. Cronister gets a call, 45. Cronister midfield, 40, 35. Cronister rode out of bounds at the 31 yard line. Maybe the 30 of Clarksville, a great carry by Logan Cronister off the right side. And, Mike, it was set up with some good blocking good by the Airedale offensive line. Yeah, it was. And that was, uh, let's give a little credit, that was Braden Menardis on the right side as, as a uh, as a wide out. And uh, they they just did a good job. And Seth Cole. And Seth Cole. Yep. And... Uh, Nathan Whalen back in at tight end now. On first down and 10 from Clarksville's 30. Hatcher, play action, throws, complete. Braden Allen at the 25, the 20, 15, knocked out of bounds at the 12 yard line. Oh, nice catch and a great run by Braden after the catch. First down and 10, Airedales at the Panther 11. Clock is. Running, 5.25 left to play in the first half. 13 to nothing, Clarksville. Let's see. And Clarksville's going to take a timeout. They're going to stop the clock. 
with 520 left to play. Airdale's when we return. We'll have the football first and 10 on the Clarksville 11-yard line. You're listening to Alma Airdale Football on the Marshall 96.7 FM. Cold and nasty is coming. Time to remodel your ride. Omega Car and Truck Accessories in Alma has the gear you need to upgrade your vehicle with heated seats. Once you have them, you'll wonder how you live without them and put a truck bed cover on to protect your stuff. What about a remote start? Warm it up before you even get in. New floor mats and seat covers will make you both look good. And don't forget, Omega has wheels and tires. Call 632-4766. Omega Car and Truck Accessories located behind Brahms in Alma. Check their Facebook page for daily specials or shop online at omegacustoms.com. Welcome back, everyone. 520 left to play. In the first half, Airedales facing a first down at 10 from the Clarksville at 11-yard line. This Airedale drive started back at their own 40. Alma coming down with the timeout. Hatcher. Clarksville still not got off the field. They finally do. And Alma runs in. Relaford late. They still have plenty of time on the play clock. Still at 20. Hatcher back to pass, throws, got a man, and overthrows the intended receiver and a penalty flag thrown at the 12-yard line. Now, uh, I would tell you this, Connor Stacy was the only Airedale player out there anywhere close. I'm not sure what they saw. It has to be somewhere on the interior line. Let's wait and see. Because there was no Airedale out there blocking or Airedale that could have been holding. So let's see what it is. It may be on the, on the line. It's a legal shift. Okay. All right. Because I, I knew that there was no one blocking, you know, for Connor. Right. So I, I knew it wasn't going to be a hold. It's a five-yard penalty. They'll mark it back to the 16. And it will be first down and 16. Or first first down and 15 from the 16. Say that three times fast. <laughs> Hatcher with Cronister in the backfield. Shotgun. Cronister gets a call left side. Going to break some tackles and move in time. Inside the five-yard line. Let's see where they're going to put him uh, down at. They're going to say the six. So he picked up ten on the carry. It will be second down and five. I don't know why they dropped the flags across there. Now they, they picked them back up. The one, the, the one linesman just dropped the flag like it was you know first and goal, but it's not. Right. It's uh, second down and five from the six. Cronister gets the call, busts in, touchdown, Alba. Logan Cronister from six yards out. Bam! I went ahead and shot the can. There you go. Boom! Boom! boom. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't get to see that play because yeah, our uh, it's all right. But it, hey, all we we was wanting here was a touchdown. 4:43 left to play in the first half. Airedales on the point after. Aaron Wilkinson will be the uh, the kicker tonight. Hatcher will be the holder. Play clock's at 10. Everyone gets set. The point after from Wilkinson. It's up. Plenty of leg. And it is good. So with 4.43 left to play in the first half, the Airedales get on the scoreboard. It's 13-7 now. Clarksville back with more from Panther Stadium right after this. La Fiesta Mexican Restaurant in Alma is proud of the Alma Airedales. La Fiesta is located at 524 U.S. Highway 71 in Alma. You could get takeout or curbside service too. 479-632-4214. That's La Fiesta in Alma. Well, Logan Cronister carried it in from six yards out on the second down and five play to get Alma on the scoreboard. Logan has just done it all this year. He's a workhorse, man. And, I, and it shows how fast he was when he came around the end while ago running towards us. I mean, when somebody's got the angle on you on the field like that and he outran the guys on the angle, man, I'm telling you, he's got some wheels. Wilkinson tees it up at the 40. High short kick going to be fielded at about the 15. Jalen Wright at the 20, 25. 30, 35, 38-yard line. That's where Clarksville would take over. First down and 10 on their own 38. So the Panthers will have the football with 4.36 left to play in the first half. They lead 13-7. to 
I couldn't tell who made that tackle. I thought it was Aaron Wilkinson, but it wasn't. I thought it was uh, yeah, that the water. Yeah. Wildcat formation. They're going to run a reverse. Buckner with the football. 40. Oh. Fumbles the ball. Airedales had it. Airedales have it now. They had it for a second, and they come back up with it. They lost it for a second, Mike, but come back up with it. And that was Devin, Devin Poole on the fumble recovery. Alma sets up shop. First down at 10 after the fumble by Buckner at the 45-yard 40, 40, yep. Yep, line of Clarksville. I don't know if you know, but when he first came over the line, he had his head down. Then he raised back up, and then he went back down. When yep. he went down, he got popped, and that ball comes shooting right out of there. I thought he was going. He thought he was going to get hit that first time when he come through the line, and there yep. wasn't nobody there. But when he come back to about the linebackers, he found. Uh, I don't know who knocked it loose, but Devin Poole come up with it. So the Airedales will be looking to cash in with 4:30 left to play, and now a penalty flag. I think this is going to be against Clarksville. Yep. Approachment. Make it first and five. How about that? First down and five from the 40. Corsi in motion. Back to pass. Play action. Got a man, and it's going to be intercepted at the 20. The defender, the ball just hung up in the air too long, Mike, and the defender was just sitting there waiting on it. The intended receiver... For Alma Corsi. was Jacob Corsi, who had he, come in motion from right to left. And the ball was just a little bit underthrown. Yep. And the defender was right there, so I guess one good turnover deserves another. Clarksville picks off the pass. They have the ball first down at 10 on their own 20. 4.23 left to play in the first half. Panthers lead the Airedales 13 to 7. Wildcat formation. Wright and Alvarez in the backfield. Alvarez gets the call. Alvarez, 30, 35, 40, Alvarez. Picked up 18, 19 yards. Landon Burkhardt stopped him, caught him from behind. That was, a, that was a big run right there. That was a big run off that left side. Moves the ball out to the 39-yard line. First down at 10, Clarksville. Clock is running. Four minutes left to play in the first half. Wildcat again. Run a misdirection. The play was fumbled. Here comes a penalty flag. Wow. Jalen Wright had the football. He fumbled it, but it bounced right back up to him, Mike. Yep. And a penalty flag thrown at the line of scrimmage. Let's wait and see. what It come in from the back, Judge. Let's wait and see what this. I think it's going to be holding on Clarksville. Man. Let's see. Here comes a white hat. Yep. It is holding on Clarksville. I'll tell you what, Aaron Wilkinson penalty. and uh, Waylon come around that corner and they both just sandwiched him. And <laughs> made a pretty good lick on him. So it'll move the football back to the 29-yard line of Clarksville. And it will be first down and 20. Three minutes, 37 seconds. And counting left to play in the first half. Clarksville leading 13 to 7. Under center, Castleman has Alvarez in the backfield. Now they run right, play action. Wayland just belted the quarterback, and I mean, he laid him out. <laughs> hey, there's, hey, hey, there is your uh, shelter yeah. insurance uh, hard collision of the game. Nathan Wayland. Oh, man. And Castleman never seen it coming, Mike. No, he, he knocked him about. He was standing on the hash mark, and I promise you, he went to halfway to the other hash mark. <laughs> he leveled it. Yeah, he did. Now, the pass was incomplete. It'll bring up a second down and 20. Stops the clock with 314 left to play. Good. Man, oh, man, that's going to leave a mark in the morning. Castleman, shotgun formation. They hand off to Robinson. Robinson trying to get outside. Robinson, boy, he almost laid that ball on the turf, yeah, man. He, did. he had it out there like a loaf of bread. And, and uh, he, it, uh, Jacob, uh, or that, Devin, Devin Poole actually put him to the ground, yeah. but um, Xander Polito was one that spun him around, and then Devin just power drove him. That's all you can say. So 
We just took the timeout. Was that Alma? I think Alma stopped the clock. 3.04 left to play. It's going to be third down. And where are they going to mark? They're going to mark it right on the 30. So it's going yep. to be third down and 19. So the Airedales could possibly get this football back. Um, pretty decent field. Pretty decent field position. Yep. And, uh, you know, after the last drive, they uh, they went, uh, went straight down the field. And... Uh, We'll have to wait and see what they uh, what they dial up. As soon as that interception will go Alma through, I don't. You probably didn't notice because you're just watching so much on the field. But as soon as them guys come off the field, the OC took them over and put them on right over on the bench and set them all down the offensive line, the the backs and the wide receivers. And he was he was making some adjustments right there on on the sideline. I like that. Quick. I like that. Third down and 19, coming out of the timeout. Clarksville has the football on their own 30. They have to move it to the. 49 for the first down. Castleman, the uh, senior quarterback. He will be shotgun formation. They'll have two wide outs to the far side and a single wide out to the left with an empty backfield for Castleman on third and 19 from their own 30. They still haven't started the play clock, and here we go. Now we got it. Now everybody's set. Castleman, shotgun, third and 19, back to pass, looking left all the way, throwing left, down there and covering. At, that's offensive pass yeah, interference. That's, that's got pass. to be offensive pass interference yeah. because, listen, Jonathan Polito had the had the angle, and he was just drugged down. Yeah, he was underneath. He was pulled down. Yeah, he was underneath the defensive, I mean, the offensive. That was Arthur receiver. Alvarez, yeah. Yeah, that's going to It's got to be offensive. Yes, offensive yep. pass interference. Polito had a sure fire interception. Yeah, 100%. He just grabbed him by the shoulder pads and drug him down. So the Which, Airedales. You know, it's a smart play. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, listen, uh, it, uh, it, it kept Alma from having the football and some momentum. So now fourth down and 19, the Airedales will drop Trey Fusler and Jacob Corsi back deep to receive. The first punt of the ball game by either team right here. Good snap. Nice kick. Fusler at the 30. Trey. Oh. Penalty flag's going to be thrown. Fusler to the 35, and that's where he's going to be stopped. Blocking it's going to be a block in the back on yeah. Alma. I mean, right in front of him. <laughs> yeah, you just can't get away with that, can you? No, not when you're about six yards from him. <laughs> so a block in the back by the Airedales on the return. Will... Have them starting a little bit deeper in their own end. 2.47 left to play. Alma with no timeouts left. 15 yard. That's a 15 yard penalty, so they'll mark that off from the 36. Ten yard penalty. He said good. I know he said 15, but he was wrong. It was yeah. only a 10. I was like, wait a minute. So I started looking in my handbook. No, no, it's a 10-yard penalty. And they, they did the right thing. It's only a 10. Yeah, it's right there in my handbook yep. right there. Ball is spotted on the Airedale 26. Hatcher, two wide outs to the left. <laughs> Has Cronister in the backfield. Now they drag Connor Stacy in motion. Cronister left side. Across the 25 to the 30. Logan carries it forward for four yards. Second down and six. Clark continues to run. 2.30 left to play in the first half. 13-7 to seven in favor of Clarksville. We knew this would be an entertaining ball game, Mike. Yeah. We talked about it on the way down here. For sure enough. Second down and six. Hatcher, shotgun. Chronister hit at the line of scrimmage. Yep. Maybe got back to the line of scrimmage. I don't think he lost any yardage. Yeah, I think he's right on it. And it'll be third down. Actually, they're going to give him a yard. Third down and five. Connor Stacy wide to the left side. Corsi wide to the right on third and five. And Clarksville's going to jump. That'll be an automatic first down now for the Airedales. They'll mark off five yards. As Clarksville just a little bit too anxious on the right side of that offense or that defensive line. Yeah. Gives Alma the first down. And it stops the clock with a minute 54 to play in the first half. 
Airedale's looking to go in on a high note here at the end of the first half. Maybe tie this thing up or even take the lead. Hatcher, play action, throwing. Got a man, Connor Stacy, but a nice defensive play, and it was broken up at the 40 of Clarksville. That's just good defense yeah. by number 12, Cole Chrisman. Yeah. He never turned around to look for the ball, Mike, but he saw when Connor Stacy went up to make the catch, and he just simply knocked it loose. Yeah, just swatted at it and got it. Second down and 10. Clock has stopped. Minute 43 left to play in the first half. Briley White comes wide to the right side along with Braden Allen, Nehemiah Relliford. Back to pass. Out in the flat. I don't oh. know where he was going with that. Jacob Corsi come on the in. Uh, he yeah. was throwing it to the out. Yeah. So just a little. Uh, he he was he had about a five yard step on him. Yeah. His defender man, if he would have hit him in stride, it'd been probably. Well, you know, and, and that that's the thing. You don't know if 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 Jacob was supposed to go out, out or, or if the play was supposed to be thrown to the end. Yeah. So, but anyhow, brings up a third down and ten. The ball is resting at the Airedale thirty-seven yard line. Clock is stopped at a minute thirty-nine left to play. In the first half, Clarksville leading the Airedales 13 to 7, and here we go on third and 10. Hatcher, two of the pattern. Now they drag Corsi. Chronister hitting the backfield. He's going to lose some yardage. That was just a good hit by number 18. Yep. Ty, Ty Frost. Frost, Frost with a, uh, a hit forces a fourth down. Fourth down and 14 for the Airedales. Yeah, Chronister just, yeah, I mean, he. Didn't need any, no, no he didn't have a chance. No. So uh, Clarks will call a timeout, I guess. Yes. Yeah, they took a timeout. They wanted to uh, preserve as much clock as they could. There's still a minute 30 left to play. They're going to get the football back, and, um, you know, either one of those guys could take it to the house at any time, either Alvarez or Jalen Wright. Yep. And they both, uh, they both can return to football, so – depending on where Alma punts it. Not sure if Aaron Wilkinson will punt for the Airedales uh, uh, with Dane Martin out tonight. Who is that back there? Devin Poole. Is that, that Devin Poole? Can't see it. Yep, that's Devin. No. Number 18? Matthew Slagle, number 14. Is it 14? Yeah. Matthew Schlegel doing the punting. Good snap. Schlegel gets a kickoff. It's going to hit it to 35. Take an Airedale bounce inside the 30. Keep rolling inside the 25. All the way down to the 22-yard line, and that's where Clarksville will have it first to 10. They didn't have anybody back. No. They were coming after the after the block when, uh, when they saw it wasn't the Airedale's regular punter. So Matthew Schlegel, sophomore, did a good job, got the kickoff. Yep. Put it down there pretty deep. Nice kick. First down and 10 Panthers with minute 18 left to play. Now the Panthers are out of timeouts as well. They have the football on their own 22-yard line, and they lead the Airedales 13-7. to Under center, Miles Castleman. Now they drop him. Single wide out to the right side, one on the left. The man in motion, they overload with right. They hand off to right. He's up to the 25, to the 30, right off to the races, midfield. Finally knocked out of bounds in Airedale territory. Jalen Wright, told you, this kid's fast. Yeah. He's good. But you know, you see who caught him from behind? Jacob Corsi. Jacob Corsi. He, come, he passed two Airedale defenders and caught him from behind. That boy has got some wheels. Yeah, he's a good ball player. 36-yard line of Alma, first down at 10, Clarksville. The clock will start a minute eight once they get the chain set. No, they, I guess they run him out of bounds, so it, yeah. it won't start. I thought they tackled him inbounds. They just need to set the chains. Ball is resting on the Airedale 36-yard line. A minute eight left to play in the first half. Clarksville with the football knocking on the door. Castleman, shotgun formation. And... Got a flag. Is it an illegal shift? Delay of game. game. Well, I didn't see that coming. I didn't either. Of course, I, I, you know, I, I don't have a. Yeah, I, I was. I was. I was looking on the left end, and I can't see the. Uh, well, the I can't see the clock. It's I on the either. other end. <laughs> I can't see it that way neither. Oh, there it is, way over there. 
So here we go on first down and 15 from the Airedale 41. Castleman, shotgun formation. Play action. Here comes the rush from Alma. Castleman throwing it downfield. Got Robinson. Oh, man. He was wide open. He got behind the defenders, Mike, and yeah. he simply just got turned around and couldn't find the football. And all Castleman did was just throw it down there. He just he put some air underneath it and lofted it up. Yeah, the, uh, the the pass was incomplete at about the Airedale five. It'll be second down and fifteen from the Airedale forty one with one minute exactly left to play in the first half. Yeah, he he felt that pressure from that right end again. You know who that is. Uh <laughs> Yeah. Wayland, he was coming yeah. after him again. Yeah. Nathan Wayland. Yeah. Second down at 15. One minute left to play. Clarksville with the ball at the Airedale 41. Back to pass. Nathan Wayland after him again. Castleman airing it out. Throwing it in the end zone. And it's off the hands of the intended receiver, Jalen Wright. And it falls incomplete. He had it right in his hands. That should have been a touchdown. He even shoulder pad. That was a good pass by Castle. Oh, yeah, especially on the run. <laughs> he threw that thing 55 yards in the air. Third down and 15 from the Airedale 41. Clock is stopped with 53 seconds left to play. Both teams out of timeouts. Homecoming tonight in Clarksville. <clears throat> Castleman getting the play in from the sidelines. 10 on the play clock as they break the huddle. Robinson to the right of Castleman. In the backfield, everyone else is lined up in the pattern. Third and 15. Robinson gets a call, hit by Nathan Whalen, breaks free. Still on his feet, trying to get outside. He's going to be hit and finally tripped up at the 43-yard line. He will end up losing two more yards. But Mike, he ran about 60 yards to uh, lose two. <laughs> he actually did a pretty good job not yeah. losing any more than what... Uh, you know what he did? Yeah, I think I think Wayland's still having a little bit of problem wrapping him up with well, that wrist. Got that hand. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. he had him dead to rights, and yep. and uh, he spun out, and then they chased him from out of bounds over here and took him down. But, so it'll be fourth down and a lot. Sixteen and uh, thirteen seconds left to play in the first half. Castleman, they're just going to air it out. I mean, why not? Trips to the right side, single wide out to the left. Castleman back to pass. Wayland holding, holding yeah. so no matter what this play is, it's coming back and it's out of bounds. Wayland was held back at the <laughs> midfield stripe. Yeah. You, you can see that, you know. And, and listen, he he, you know, the defender had to because Nathan Nathan had him beat dead well, right. He's been beating him all evening, and uh, he knew what was going to happen if he didn't hold him. Down. That's gonna. That's the end of the ball. Or end of the first, first. half. Now, that's the end of the first half. Yep. The only way that they could keep playing is if it was a defensive yep. penalty. So that's the end of the first half. Our score at halftime: Clarksville 13, Alma 7. We'll be back with more from uh, Panther Stadium right after this. Don't put your health last. Pointer Trail Family Medical Clinic at 109 Pointer Trail in Van Buren. Dr. Carolyn Dillard and nurse practitioner Danielle Weaver are ready to help you and your family get well and stay well. Routine medical checkups. Colds.
or your driveway and notice that leak coming from underneath your vehicle? Well, maybe it's time you see the professionals at CSI Radiator Repair. From commercial and industrial to cars, trucks, SUVs, motor... Clarksville, where the Panthers lead the Airedales 13 to 7. Alma starting a, a sophomore quarterback tonight, Derek Hatcher. Hatcher's actually stepped in, done a pretty good job tonight. First action that Hatcher's seen this year at the varsity level. Logan Cronister got the Airedales on the board. 4:43 left to play in the second quarter. Alma had pretty much they moved the football at times, but then just you know just had you know some some breakdowns and. and Seemed like uh, it seemed like they would get going, and then, and then uh, you know they face a fourth down. It was it was frustrating for them. I, I know because the offense at times looked extremely, extremely good, and uh, they finally got uh, got things going. Logan Crosster carried it in from six yards out on a uh, second down and five from the six with uh, 4:43 left to play. Aaron Wilkinson with the uh, with the extra point made it uh, 13 to seven as. Uh, Anderson Terry joins me. Anderson, good to see you, man. You guys, uh, you guys in the uh, in the crew that you have here tonight. I know that uh, you you'd like to be able to have more time and be able to just you know do everything that uh, that you need to do. Of course, we have to work on some things you know on the, on the fly, but it's only because of COVID and we're not allowed everybody to be here that, that normally is. Sure. Yeah. You know, you know, anytime you're doing a live event, there's always adjustments and things that happen uh, on the fly. Exactly right. Well, uh, been a pretty entertaining first half, and it would be uh, these two teams pretty much on the same on the same page. They they rely heavily on the uh, on the run, uh, but Alma with uh, with Hatcher at quarterback tonight, uh, he's made some pretty good pass completions, and uh, he underthrew uh, he underthrew Chronister on one, got it intercepted at the twenty, but still, you know, he's uh, he's made some good plays and. And he's read the defense, and, and uh, Logan Croster has, uh, again, run his tail off, and the offensive line is blocking. So I think the second half, man, and, you know, what we're seeing from the Alma coaches, Anderson's they, they made some adjustments after that first drive at Clarksville. They made some adjustments, yep. and they shut them down. Sure. So, you know, I, I like that. I mean, that, that, and that, that's what a good coaching staff does. And, man, it never ceases to amaze me. You know, Alma, when they put something together, 
um, and, and and then you see it you see it out there after after seeing them in practice you know during the week and then you see it you know actually you know coming together against an opponent it's it's pretty cool it's a, it's a cool thing to watch you know Jimmy I can tell you uh, I got the opportunity to spend a couple of moments for, right before the team came out of the locker room this evening and I tell you this team wants to win oh yeah this team is oh, ready hungry. for a win yep, and hungry. They, they are playing with passion. They, they left the locker room with, with a hunger to win, and, and our coaches are, are the same way. And you can just feel it in that room that uh, we want to win this ball game. You know, I, you can you can really tell. Uh, and, and Coach Presley, the uh, the defensive coordinator, after the first drive, you know, Alma was putting six on the line uh, during the first drive because Clarksville runs, it, it's a unique offense. It, it's it's a wildcat. It's what Gus Malzahn brought, as much as Houston Nutt would like to say it was him, it's Gus Malzahn. Uh, that, that brought the Wildcat, uh, and, and uh, so they they'll snap it to one of two tailbacks who are standing side by side, and that's the flow. That's that's the way it's going to go, uh, and they've been successful with it so far. But after that point, after that first drive, when they went down and scored on the very first drive, Coach Presley made some adjustments, and uh, they shut them down. And, and you know they only had uh, six points the rest of the uh, rest of the first half. So. Just a great job by the Alma coaching staff, and I, you know, I'm, I'm liking what I see. And I'm not a homer, you know. I, I don't work for the Alma school system. Well, I work for Bill Ferris, so I call it down, you know, down the middle. It's been just as entertaining on the Clarksville side as it is on the Alma side. But you know what? I can see, I can see what Alma's doing, and man, this this second half ought to be extremely entertaining. You know, Jimmy, I uh, I can sit here and say I am a homer because I. <laughs> <laughs> but and that's okay. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, it's, Listen, uh, it, and, and here's the thing, for and, and, and so some people are like, well. You work for Alma. You need to call the game for Alma. No, because whoever Alma's playing, if their fans are watching the Alma live stream, I want them to enjoy it just as much as the Alma fans are. You call the game down the middle. You give them an honest read on the on the ball game, and then you know what? They come away thinking a little bit more of Alma because it, you know we're not homering up, and it's not a. We, you know, we were cheated. We were cheated. Them officials are cheating us. I never want to be that guy. So, you know, you, you try to call it where everyone that's watching, no matter if it's the visiting team or if it's if it's the home team, they come away with a good feeling after the ball game, no matter who wins. You know, Jimmy, my number one priority for an official is make sure you can hear his mic. <laughs> that's my, you know, especially at home, that that is my number one concern. You know, it's funny. I leave a leave a stadium and and I'll have people ask me, well, what was the score? How'd it go? Well. Yeah. There are times, especially in basketball season, oh, I don't yeah. even know what the score was. Oh, but yeah. I do know that production went well and, and game operations went well. And uh, Speaking of production, we're going to be in the arena on Tuesday night with our senior high volleyball team, our right. last home game right. on uh, Tuesday night. It's going to be pink zone night. What time? We're going to kick that off at 4 o'clock, but we've got a couple of games prior to our varsity game. It's a rolling start. So um, get to the arena about 4 o'clock and uh, watch our JV teams and – it's uh, going to be a good going to be Who's a good coming night. in? Who's playing? Van Buren. Van Buren coming in. Oh, this will be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm a Van Buren. It doesn't get any better than Yeah, it's going to be a going to be a good night and, and the, the best part is we're we're doing it in honor of um, those who have lost the battle and yep. those who are continuing yep. to fight the battle of breast cancer and you know, you're going to see a lot of pink on uh I think that's phenomenal, night. man. I absolutely and, love it. You know, UA Fort Smith does a pink out mm-hmm. night and I absolutely love that. I mean, listen, it at at some point cancer has touched everyone's lives, sure. whether it's whether it's a family member, whether it's a friend, you know, it, it might have been that person. So, yep. you know, it, it's always important to, you know, to, to make sure that we can do, you know, something to support that. And I, I, man, I'm on board 100%. I think that's phenomenal. Speaking of basketball in the arena, um, going to be a little bit different this year because the tournaments, they're gone. But Alma has loaded up with some other ball games. You know, so it could be like three nights a week down in down at the arena instead of instead of the tournaments. It's going to be a busy, uh, yeah. a busy basketball season. We're looking forward to it, and it's going to be a busy week next week. We have uh, a couple of young men that are actually going to compete in the state tennis tournament yes. on Monday down yes. in Hot Springs. And I love the dedication. Yeah, I love the dedication. Yep. Nathan me. Gibson, Drew Battles, yep. they're going to be uh, they're going to be down there, and it's going to be going to be a great week for Alma. Uh, we're looking forward to it. Of course, the uh, volleyball game will be carried on YouTube, so yep. you can watch that if you can't uh, make it to the arena. But we want you to come out to the arena and watch. Phenomenal. Anderson Terry joining me here at halftime. It's 13 to uh, 7, in favor of the uh, the hometown uh, Clarksville Panthers. And uh, certainly glad that you're tuned in on the Martian, also on the live stream, the Airdale live stream. And, you know, for those of you, and, and I, so I was getting texts before we, we ever went on the radio hey, you're on the air right now. 
Uh, so we, you know, we were already on the live stream as we were hooking up, and Bill was counting me down. So they, you know, they got to hear all of that. But you know, it, it's just one of the things, man. That when when they, if they knew how many wires that you guys have dropped down from the ceiling down to this down to this booth here, that's uh, that's you know right down below you, just to make this thing work. People just shake their head. They'd be like, "Man, man those those guys. There's a lot of work to that. There, there's a lot of behind the scenes." And I, I can I, I think it's kind of cool. And sure. I love the fact that the students are are involved as much in, uh, as as they are. And it's not just a bunch of adults doing this. That the students are actually learning. Because Anderson, this could be something they can take on and make a career out of. Of course, it's you know it's it's something they can take to to college and yep. and, and beyond. So. Yep. We're gonna take a quick time out. Get everything worked out. Are we good now? I think we're gonna have a good second uh, half. All right. Uh, we're going to take another timeout. We still have about eight minutes left in halftime until the uh, teams come back out. It's homecoming night here in Clarksville. And, uh, man, we're certainly hoping that you're enjoying the broadcast. It's 13-7 to uh, seven right now, Clarksville. i got a little sneaking suspicion, though, Anderson. The uh, the second half, the uh, the Airedales are going to start to turn it on. I think Derek Catcher, the, uh, the sophomore quarterback, is starting to uh, feel a lot more comfortable out there. And he didn't dance around. Uh, it looked like his feet were set. And you can always tell when someone's a little bit nervous on the field that they get a little happy feet. Uh, I think I think the uh, the butterflies are out of this young man's stomach, and he's he's playing some good football. I think the second half is going to be very enjoyable. You know, if you uh, one of the favorite quotes of mine is, you, "If you don't have butterflies on game day, you're doing something wrong." Exactly right. Yep. Yep. Quick timeout. We'll come back with more from Panther Stadium uh, right after this. COVID.
would uh, like to remind the student section or the students, uh, CHS and Coastal High, Junior High students, uh, to when halftime is over, to make sure that you make your way back into the stands. Again, this is part of the COVID-19 protocols. The large groups out there, just please make sure you make your way back into the stands so that we can properly social distance. Welcome back, everyone. We're at halftime. We're in Clarksville at homecoming. Leads Alma 13 to 7. And, you know, Mike, if uh, you look at the way these two teams, they, they kind of mirror each other because uh, both teams are 0 uh, 2 in the 5A um, and, you know, have struggled at times. But they're also, you know, Alma's playing with a extremely young. Uh, some of the players are playing the, the positions for the first time ever. Yeah. Um, so if you look at the scoring averages on the season in the uh, in the third quarter, Clarksville's averaging six point seven points. Alma's averaging three and a half. And then uh, in the fourth quarter, Alma's averaging two points in the fourth quarter. Out of uh, out of all the uh, the games they played, Clarksville's averaging eight point seven. So um, the Airedales um, coming out at halftime. I think we're going to see a little bit different team. Yeah, I think. I think you're going to see a little bit different team. Yeah, and plus, like I say, we were just talking before we come back on air that they're going to get the ball in the second half. Yeah, Alma will start the second half with the football. So um, I'm anxious to see what he changes. Oh, I am too. Time. Listen, I, I'm going to tell you something. Coach Chris Smith, That this guy knows. He knows offense. Well, like I said, he ago, knows yeah. offense. He's he a good offensive over there, coordinator. Put him in the chair earlier. Yep. And right there, he let him know, hey, don't get your dauber down. Just go throw the interception. Let me show, yeah. let me show you what happened here. And, yeah. And so you know that's uh, a big thing with these kids because they're young. They need that. They need that motivation. They need that uh, that little lift. Yeah. Because like you said, they're young. And uh, but I'm gonna tell you, the second half, I think it's gonna be a. I think it's gonna be a different second half. I, I think you, I think you're gonna see the uh, continued adjustments and the continued improvement by this Arizona team. And you know, I think I think going on in the season, Mike. This could be the turning point for the Airedale season right here, this second half of football. Yeah. I mean, it, th this could be the turning point for them. They, it, they, they've been close at times. They put some things together. But I think with, with the way this team is playing, I, I, this could be the turning point for the, for the season. And, and I'm anxious to see what, uh, what adjustments they made because, listen, this coaching staff does a phenomenal job. We've seen it. We, we've seen it time and time again. Uh, they, they did it in the first quarter. So yeah. I'm, I'm excited, man. Yeah, it's uh, it ought to be a heck of a second half. It really ought to. And uh, I don't know how many yards Logan's got for the first half, but I'm yeah. pretty we'll, sure we'll he's. We'll He's running the football. Oh man, yeah. And he's had a you know he had like a forty yarder call back. I know it. And hey, props to that front line. That front line is really getting the job done. Yes, they are. Locking. Doing a good job on the line. Yeah. Like uh, like what I'm seeing, and you know I, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, the play out of Alexander Polito, um, and and uh, it it is so good to uh, it's so good to see some of the you know some of the like Nathan Whalen back out there. Yeah. You know he missed a couple of weeks because uh, you know he had an injury, but players like that, listen, he absolutely leveled. It wasn't trying to hurt him, no, but he, he was just trying. He was trying to say, hey, uh, my name is Nathan. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, you can call me Mr. Whalen now. No, by the way, let me help you up. After he knocked uh, the quarterback about seven yards. Yeah. And I'll tell you another one that uh, we've called several times tonight is Devin Pool. Oh my goodness! Devin's yeah, been all over yep. the field tonight. He yep. has he has really stepped up the game tonight. He's yep, been all over the field. Yep. Well, he also had a fumble recovery yep. in the first half. So, yeah, you know, I mean, it's uh, I, I I think this second half is going to be very entertaining for Airedale fans. Um, honestly, you know, I keep saying it, man. You you can see this young team coming together. They're starting to be, to believe in each other. And here's the thing, and you know this as well as I do. Before you can before you can play as a team, you have to trust the guy that's right next to you. Right. And I think that they're starting to trust them and know that uh, that hey they're they're going to make the block or hey they're going to they're you know they're they're going to make the uh, they're they're going to make the play that they need to you know make. I'm going to take care of my you know my assignment. And I think they're starting to trust each other. I kind of like it. Yeah. Kind of like what I'm seeing. Yeah. So uh, it could be a uh, in another year or two. This this team right here could be oh baby. It could be it could be something that you oh would, <laughs> baby something to write home to mama about. Yeah, it could, it could remind you of some stuff that uh, seen in the past. 
Yeah, I think if uh, I think if everyone just be you know is it, just patient with them. Yeah, because you can see, hey, I, already you know, and I, I made mention, Derek Hatcher already looks comfortable. You know, first couple of plays, he was bouncing around on his feet. You, yeah. you could tell he was he was nervous, and and, and that's understandable. Right. Sophomore starting in a, in you know in a, in a varsity game and, and uh, gets his first start uh, you know of the uh, of the season tonight. I wouldn't want and, you and we're I would... in week uh, we've already played you know five weeks. I wouldn't want you out there if you weren't a little nervous. Exactly first, right. Though. Exactly right. So, um, both teams back out. They've all warmed up. We're still about 50 seconds left until we uh, get the uh, second half underway. Airedales will be receiving to start the second half. Kind of anxious to see what uh, Coach uh, Coach Smith dials up on offense on this first try. Yeah. Um, Alma had uh, Alma had a uh, had a chance, had a shot at the uh, the 40 uh, the 45 at Clarksville after uh, Poole recovered a fumble. Um, and it listen, and, and Hatcher's throwing the ball good, you know, tonight. He just underthrew uh, under yep. the pass, and he got it got picked off. But I'm going to tell you something. Um, I've been impressed uh, with the uh, with the quarterback from uh, the uh, the Castleman kid, the way he's throwing the football for Clarksville. He's done a good job tonight too. Yeah, so, sure has. Second half uh, getting underway now. Clarksville will be kicking off to Alma. They'll be moving from our left to right. Now here's something. Airedales have. Uh, it does have moved a couple of players up. They still have that soft zone right there in the middle, yep. um, in between a couple of ball players. But we'll we'll see. Here we go. The ball is teed up at the forty, and Fusler and Corsley. Yep. Yep. Here we go. Here we're underway. Jacob Corsley going to field it at the fifteen. He fumbles the football, and picks it up. He's to the twenty. Corsi not going to go anywhere after the twenty. As he's Held up and tackled right at the 20. The Airedales will start first down at 10 from their own 20 to start the second half. Alma trails 13 to 7 as we get underway. Glad to have you tuned in tonight to the Marshall. Don't forget on uh, the Marshall and also on uh, Fox Sports on 103.5, we will have the uh, Rex Nelson uh, scoreboard show coming up at 10 o'clock tonight. You'll be able to get scores from all across the state. And uh, be able to get the, uh, the finals from all of the games. First down and 10. Airedales with the ball. Hatcher, shotgun formation. They will send Braden Menardis wide to the right. Corsi wide to the left. Play action. Hatcher throws. Ball is tipped at the line of scrimmage. He was looking for Braden Allen. The tight end. It was out in the flat at about the 25. It's probably a good thing that ball was tipped and knocked down, Mike. Yeah. I, I don't know if you've seen that, what, what happened there, but Braden walked up and gave him high five, gave him a little low five. You know, hey, man, it just happens. Yeah. He, he knew that it uh, just telling him, hey, you still got it. Don't get don't get down. But what it looked like was the uh, the corner was coming. Yeah, he was. He, 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 he read that play, and, uh, yeah, he would have been right on top of it. Third down and seven now for Alma. Trips to the right side. Cronister in the backfield with Hatcher. Play action. They throw. It's complete. Connor Stacy. Connor picks up the first down as he carries it out to the 31-yard line. That's a good pass as he stayed right in the pocket. And uh, Hatcher completes it to Connor Stacy for the air. Well, a penalty flag back at the 20. I didn't see that. No, I didn't either. Uh, it's on the far side of the field. That'll be holding on Alma. So the Airedales will be... Uh, Facing a third down, and let's see how many where they're going to. It's a spot foul, so we'll see where they're going to mark it off from. I don't know if it was from the 20. That is where they're going to mark it off from. So it'll be all the way down to the 10. So uh -huh. it will be third down and 20 for Alma. Yeah. Nope, they're going to mark it at the 11. 11. So third down and 19. So erase a uh, first down play. He did put it back to the 10. Yeah, yeah, it should be third down and twenty because yeah. it's a ten yard penalty and come from the come from the uh, from the twenty yard line. So it is third and twenty. Hatcher shotgun formation, two wide outs to the right, back to pass, looking left, throwing left, overthrows his intended receiver, and it's intercepted at the forty. To the twenty, to the fifteen, to the ten, touchdown Clarksville. Wow. I didn't think he caught it. <laughs> caught it over his shoulder. Yeah, he did. He got Pick six shoulder. for the Panthers. And with 10.40 left to play, 
in the third. Panthers lead 19 to 7. A PAT coming up. Ishe. Ishe, right footed kicker. Little high snap. The kick is up. This kick is good. 10.41 left to play in the third. 20 to 7 in favor of Clarksville. Back with more. Airedale football in the Marshall 96 7 FM. Ten minutes, 41 seconds left to play in the third. 20 to 7 now in favor of Clarksville after the pick Connor six. Stacey. Connor Stacy and Trey Fusler back deep to receive the kickoff. You know they kicked away from Trey tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, do you blame them? No. They saw the scouting tape. Trey Fusler is a demon returning footballs, man. That kid just has a knack for it. He finds the seam and he goes. They got a little little different lineup on their kickoff team. Boy, they all bunched up with inside the hash know. marks. Well, it makes you wonder if they're going to onside kick it or if they're going to kick it deep. You never know. Well, he, when he kicks it deep, they do it. They fake the onside. Is that a balk? <laughs> yeah, almost a balk. <laughs> Uh-oh. And delay a game? Delay a game. So here's what they do. They, they line up to uh, – they line up like – everyone's bunched in the middle – and then they all break and then fake the uh, fake the kick like they're going to onside kick it. Well, then they spread back out. Yeah. Well, that's fancy schmancy and it looks good, but uh, at the end of the day, it's a uh, five-yard penalty for, for delay a game. You like that? Fancy schmancy. Fancy schmancy. Yeah. So they're lined up again. Everyone tight. But he'll, Blake clocks at 20. But he'll kick it like that. Oh, yeah. So and offside. now they're offside, so that's another five yards. And here's the deal. You just spread out and line up and kick the football. <laughs> I get it. I, I mean, I, I, I get what they're trying to do. That's another five yards. So they're going to move it back five yards even more. They're going to kick it from the 30 this time. Oh, yeah. Still got that big hole out there we talked about earlier. That's where he kicked the last one, too. Yep. And then and they had everyone in the middle, so they were going down to try to cover it. Right. Fusler and uh, Connor Stacy standing now on their own 15-yard line. And E. Shea tees it up at the 30. Traditional kick now. Connor at the 30. 35. Connor Stacy to the 40. Hit at the 40 and dropped at the 43-yard line. And the Airedales will have good field position to start this drive at their own 40. They're going to mark it at the 42 that on the return actually, by Connor Stacey. That's Kevin Mills. Was that Mills? Yeah. Get, they, you can't tell when you they... Can't, no, it, when, they, when they first get out there. Yep. Turned sideways. It looked like you know, looked like Connor's number. And, uh, but Kevin Mills on the return. You know, Mills is just a couple inches shorter than Connor, but they both weigh just about the same. Yeah. All right, first down at 10. There's the handoff. Cronister crossed the 45 to the 49-yard line. Get on the play of six yards. Second down and four, Alma. So Kevin Mills, a junior, with a nice return for the Airedales. Riley White, as uh, Cronister is going to check out, and Devin Poole will check in. Yep. They'll send Briley White wide to the left side. Wayland. Lines up at tight end on the right, and they also send Jacob Corsi to the left. Braden Allen, the tight end on the left side. Play action, back to pass. Got Braden Allen in the flat, complete at the 45 of Clarksville. And Braden just powers his way <laughs> backwards all the way to the 40 of Clarksville. 17 yards on the pickup, first down to 10 Alma. There you go. 
he took him about six yards just driving legs backwards and just took him backwards down to the 40. That was a good run. Those of you watching catch. on the on the live stream saw exactly what we were talking about. He just kept pushing. Yep. Ball is resting on the 40 of Clarksville. First down at 10 Alma. Shotgun. Hatcher hands off. Right up the gut. Off the right side <laughs> is the ball carrier. That is uh, Devin Poole. Was that a... Uh... Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, Cole, Seth Cole just drove his guy down, about, down the field about 15 yards. Yeah. Second down at seven. They put Braden in the slot on the left side. Pool in the backfield. Pool gets the call. Left side. Pool inside the 35 down to about the 33 yard line. Shy of the first down by three yards. Third down at three. Alma. I like drives like this, man. Yeah. Make just move the bit. football. Just, you know, hey, three or four yards and just keep keep going. Jacob Corsi wide to the right side. Braden Allen wide to the left side. I formation with Hatcher under center. They give it to the first man. He's going to be hit in the backfield and not going to go anywhere. Matter of fact, he's going to lose a yard. The ball carrier was Devin Poole. And now a fourth down and four, Alma. Powell, number 67, is the one that made that tackle, and he just wrapped him up. He's a nose guard, man. He just wrapped him up right there. I... Nehemiah Relliford checks in. Nathan Whalen checks out on fourth down and four. Airedales will go for it. They're trailing 20 to 7. 8 10 left to play in the third. Of course, he comes wide to the right side. Connor Stacy wide to the left. Pool in the backfield. Now, Relliford in motion from right to left. Hatcher, back to pass, looking right, throwing right. Got Nathan, or uh, Braden Allen at the 25. They'll pick up the uh, first down and move the chains as Braden continues to push and finally tackled out of bounds at the 21-yard line. I'm liking what I'm seeing out of Derek Hatcher tonight, Mike. Yeah, yeah I am too. He's he, When he drops back, he's he don't get too razzled about it back here. He just sits back, looks for that guy, and he just get him over the out there in the flat. And I can honestly say I've never been razzled. <laughs> <laughs> or dazzled. Or dazzled. <laughs> Here we go. Connor Stacy wide to the right side. Corsi wide to the left. First and 10. Pull gets the call inside the 20. Pull inside the 15. Down to the 13. Devin Pull running off the right side. Getting some good blocking from Seth Cole. And also, is that Ethan, Ethan Thrift? Um, I think it is. I can't see. 76, Ethan Thrift. Yep, Ethan Thrift on that right side. Second down, let's call it three for the Airedales. Ball is resting at the 13 of Clarksville. Pull on the call again. Pull at the 10, still on his feet. Wrestles around down to about the nine. First down and 10, Alma. I, uh, I think they're going to mark it outside the 10. It's going to be resting around on the 10-yard line, so it's first and goal. Got you a new word, razzled. Razzled. <laughs> Hope Checking to, in. Get it that left side hash mark. Josh left Callahan two. checks in. Josh came in. Yep. Had to call his number in the, in the bit. Devin in the backfield. Hatcher. Shotgun gets the snap. Devin gets the call inside the ten. Devin down to about the six. Second down and goal for the Airedales. Clock is running. 6:28 to play in the third. Alma trails 20 to 7. A pick six got Clarksville on the board here in the third quarter. Airedale's looking to answer this trip down. Second and goal from the six. Pool still in at tailback. Now they bring. Braden Allen to the right side and overload the right. Pull gets the call. Pull inside the five, down to the four. Third down and goal from the four. Airedales quick to the line of scrimmage. Clarksville still trying to substitute. There's the carry into the end zone. Touchdown. Davin Poole. Carries it in on the right side. And the Airedale score from five yards out with 5.36 left to play in the third. Now Alma lining up for the PAT. Wilkerson. Aaron Wilkinson.
Good snap, kick is up, and the kick is good. 5.36 to play in the third. We've got a ball game. Clarksville leads Alma 20 to 14, back with more from Panther Stadium right after this. Welcome back, everyone. 5.36 left to play in the third. 20 to 14. We've got a ball game at Clarksville. Glad to have you tuned in tonight on the Marshall 96.7 FM. Also AM 12.30 and on the Airedale live stream. Aaron Wilkinson set to uh, kick off from the 40. High, short kick. Going to be fielded at the 20 to the 25. That's Jalen. Jalen Wright to the 35 to the 40. Still on his feet. Still battling. Jalen carrying it out to the 42-yard line. Listen, this kid's dangerous, man. He's good. He's good. Uh, he's a good uh, running back and a good football player. Yeah, he's uh, still down. Though. He's still down over there now, though. You know, usually, how many times have you seen it? How many times have you seen it, Mike? When somebody is struggling to get that extra yard, they either they fumble, fumble or they end up getting hurt. Yeah, I, I, I think it's just cramps. Yeah, I though. think he got a cramp. He just got a cramp and spinning, spinning, breaking tackles, and uh, like you said. Just probably. Clarksville will have the football on their 42-yard line. And don't know what you're going to dress up for Halloween. I kind of know what I'm going out trick-or-treating this year. Yeah. Possibly. Know, yeah. Possibility. Yeah. I'm still working on uh, Jalen Wright stretching that. It looks like his calf, right leg. Gives us an opportunity. Thank our uh, thank our good friends from the pizza place in Alma, Adam Daly and that crew. Yeah, Missy Morgan, Logan, and Wyatt took care of us tonight. That extra crispy, large meat lovers. On the way down here, made our traveling down uh, Interstate 40 uh, as rough as it is so much better. Oh yeah, that I tell you what, they uh, did a great job with the interstate out there. That was a great. You listen, having that pizza made me forget about how rough it was. I, I was fine with it. <laughs> hey, don't forget, coming up tonight, immediately follow the ball game, the CSI Radiator post-game report. Compliments of our good friends, CSI Radiator. Commercial to industrial, if it has a radiator, CSI can flush and fill it, or if it's leaking, they can fix that too. Proud sponsor of our pre-game and our post-game show here on the Marshall. And I also want to remind you, uh, right now, Nathan Whalen is uh, running away with the... Uh, the uh, Warren's uh, Warren Robertson uh, shelter insurance hard collision of the ball game. Um, he absolutely leveled Miles Castleman, the quarterback, from the blind side in the in the first half. Uh, what would you say? Punted him about six yards, seven yards, <laughs> at least. It was at least that. And I, I'm gonna tell you what: when he runs, man, uh, he's just a big dude, and. You get that much momentum going. Six foot seven, two hundred fifteen pounds. You ain't gonna stop. No, and no. He didn't stop when he hit him neither. Now, he he, now, now, let's make this clear. It was not a dirty hit. No, no. The officials far. were standing right there watching yeah. it, and Jalen Jalen writes up, and he's he's walking off. So that's good to see for Clarksville. Yeah. Um, it was a clean play, and uh, the officials were standing right there and watched it. No penalty flags. Just a good hard football hit. Uh, good clean hit by. Uh, by Nathan Whalen, and right now he is the leader in the clubhouse uh, for the uh, Warren Robertson uh, Shelter Insurance hard collision of the ball game. So here we go, first down of 10. Panthers with the football on their own 42-yard line. They lead 20 to 7. 526 left to play in the third. Wildcat formation. They run it back to Buckner. Buckner's going to be hitting the backfield. He and uh, Nathan Whalen, <laughs> Johnny on the spot. Yeah. They run that little reverse where the flow was going to the right, and Buckner come back on the reverse, and they were Nathan Whalen's like, uh, uh tired of seeing that man yeah, not, lost on the play of a yard. Yeah, not no more. How good is it to see Nathan Whalen back out there? You know, he was out for what two, three weeks. You know, yeah. he was injured, and you can tell hurt, he, it, hurt, he his, brings, hurt his he, wrist. Yeah, he brings. You can tell he brings a little, brings a little, little skip, skip to the little skip to the, uh, the to the defense. Yep. I think players feed off that. Second down and eleven. Wildcat again. 
This time they run it to the left side. That's Alvarez. Across the 40 Ooh. to 45. Nice block for Clarksville. A uh, gain on the play of eight yards. It will be short of the first down by three. It'll be third down and three. Panthers, the ball's resting at their own 39-yard line. And, and Arthur Alvarez, the ball carrier, he uh, he took a shot. He got a shot right in the uh, right in the ribs as he was going down. I thought he took a shot with Trey Fusler. Yeah. <laughs> he got blocked right there. And, man. Listen, this is uh, – but, you know, have you noticed – there's not been any unsportsmanlike. No, it's been a These clean These two games. teams Good playing game. clean and hard-hitting. This is football, man. Yeah, just down right football. Third down and three. Big play for the Airedale defense right here. Alvarez, the ball carrier, into the Alma, into the football field. He is so close to that first down. I think he picked it up. They are giving him the first down. He needed three. I think he picked up three yards and an inch because it was so close, Mike. They're going to go ahead and move the chains to give them the first down, but that was close. The Airedale yeah, defense that's... had a hold of them, but just could not keep them from getting that last uh, little push on the momentum. Clock is running. 3.49 to play in the third. 20-14. to 14, Panthers with the lead. Off to pick six. First and ten at the Airedale 48. Wildcat. Alvarez, misdirection to Buckner. Buckner inside the Airedale 45, down to about the 43-yard line. Jonathan Polito oh, yeah. on the tackle. Gain on the play of five yards, second down and five. The ball resting on the Airedale 43. Next week, Alma will be back at home. Thank goodness. A week traveling to Harrison and a week traveling to... Uh, Clarksville, Morlton will be in town next week. Kick off at 7 o'clock at the Airedale Stadium. Alvarez on the keeper. Alvarez turning it inside the 35 to the Airedale 34-yard line. Picks up the first down. And now Cole Chrisman comes off the field limping, Mike. I don't know yeah. if he twisted an ankle. I think going over and shaking it off. Shaking it off now, yeah. walking it off. Yeah. Looked like he twisted his ankle or something coming on that last play, but he's, yeah, he's, yeah, it's, no, it's a yeah. cramp. He's got a cramp in his calf, <laughs> yeah. First down and 10, the ball is at the Airedale 34. Clarksville with the football, moving it from right to left. Wildcat formation again. Alvarez, misdirection to Buckner. Uh, and guess what, Mr. Buckner, you just got to meet Jaden. <laughs> Jaden uh, Leveler. Leveler. Levier. Yep. I think that was the last time we had a problem pronouncing his last name. Yeah. It's a little different. Nice tackle. It was a good tackle. By Jaden. He was 5'9", 240-pound senior. Second down and 10. Panthers with the football. Airedale 34-yard line. Wildcat. They fake the misdirection. Alvarez turning it upfield, hit it to 30, falls forward to about the 26-yard line. It'll be third down. No, that was third down, wasn't it? Or, nope. Yeah, it was third and nine. It's going to be – what did they mark it down at? They've already switched the, the markers across the way. It's third, third and three. Yeah, I was thinking that was second down, but then across the way on the flags, yeah, they, they already had it at third down before they ever moved it. Yeah, before they ever – even started walking, yep. he moved it. Third down and three, close to four. Have to move it to the 25. There's the ball carrier, Jalen Wright. And Wright carries for the first down. Wright checked back into the ball game. They've been running. They've been running uh, Alvarez and also uh, also Buckner. They'll carry the football inside the 20 to the Airedale 19. It's first down and 10 Panthers. So after Wright had some problems with some cramps, he's back in there. And a big carry for Jalen. Picks up the first down and moves the chains for Clarksville. Now Wright and Alvarez back in the backfield together. Wildcat formation. Wright gets the snap. Spins. Tries to turn it upfield. Airedales are there. Two-yard gain. Second down and eight. Clock continues to run. 38 seconds left to play in the third. It's 20-14 to 14, Clarksville. Airedale's needing a stop this trip, Mike. Yeah, they they definitely need to make a stop right here. They need to make a statement. 
Second down and eight. The ball is at the Airedale 18. Alvarez right in the backfield. Ball goes to Alvarez, trying the left side. Alvarez hit at the line of scrimmage. Falls forward for about a yard, maybe two. It'll be third down. Let's call it seven, maybe a little bit less than seven, close to six. This is a huge play coming up right here, baby. Yeah. That's the end of the third quarter. So you will have to wait just like we will have to wait <laughs> to see the third down and six play. You're listening to Airedale Football on the Marshall. Clarksville leads Alma 20 to 14 as we move into the fourth and final quarter. Stay tuned. Welcome back, everyone. Final 12 minutes coming your way now. Coming out of the timeout, it will be third down and seven. Ball is resting at the Airedale 16-yard line. Clarksville with the football. They have to move it to the nine for the first down. As we start the fourth quarter, Clarksville leads Alma 20-14 to on homecoming night here in Clarksville. Jalen Wright, Arthur Alvarez in the backfield. Wildcat formation. Wright gets the call right up the middle. Wright's got the first down as he carries the line inside the nine down to about the eight. You know what? They're not going to give him that first down. They're going to mark him short. They're going to say his forward progress was stopped back at the nine or uh, just outside the nine. Or they did he? That's going to be fourth down. That's got to be fourth down. Yeah, it is fourth down in inches. This is huge right here. Ball is resting just inside the 10. They have to move it inside the 9 for the first down. That surprises me. I thought his forward momentum was, you know, all the way to the 8, maybe the, you know, the 7.5. This is a big play right here. You got Alvarez and Wright in the backfield on 4th and inches from the Airedale 9. Right up the gut. Wilson, touch our right, touchdown. Oh, they're going to mark him down at the 1. Again, he fell into the end zone, but they're going to say he was down. His knee was down right at the one. So it's first and goal from the Airedale one. Jalen Wright just carried it over the right side, Mike. Yeah. That was just a good carry. Good blocking up front. A nice time for a turnover, wouldn't it? Yeah. It uh, wouldn't hurt much. First and goal from the one. Alvarez carries. Carries it right into the end zone. Touchdown, Clarksville. Panthers go up 26 to 14. With a PAT coming up from E. Shea. 10.42 left to play in the ball game. Kick is up, and the kick is good. 10.42 left to play in the game. 27 to 14 in favor of Clarksville. You're listening to Alma Football on the Marshall 96.7 FM. Welcome back, everyone. 10.42 left to play in the ballgame. 
Clarksville got up by two scores now, 27 to 14. Airedales will be looking to answer this trip down. Balls teed up at the 40. So we got Fusler and got Fusler and also uh, Mills? Kevin Mills. Kick is deep. It's going to go to Fusler. No, Mills at the 5. Mills to the 10, the 15. Kevin to the 20, 25, 30. Kevin Mills out to the 33-yard line. Good return by Mills, the junior out of Alma. They'll have the football first down at 10 at their own 33. Well, we'll see what we got. Morlton Devil Dogs in town next week. Always enjoy seeing Morlton come to town. They always have some good athletes and always uh, always good football. Extremely fast. Morlton with a lot of tradition. Hatcher, first down at 10. He took everybody in tight to the left. Three on the play clock. Hatcher gets the snap. They pitch it out. That's Cronister. Cronister at the 30. He's going to lose a couple of yards. That play was just slow to develop. It didn't yeah. look like it didn't look like they were they were set. They had the blocking on the left side, Mike, but just couldn't couldn't get Logan to the corner. Well, when he pitched in the ball, he pitched it kind of behind him. He had to, he had yeah. to kind of stop yeah. and wait for the ball. The ball should have been pitched in front of him. He pitched it behind him a little bit. Second down and eleven. Corsi wide to the left side. There goes Cronister, 30, trying to turn it upfield, tripped up at the line of scrimmage. Falls up to about the 34-yard line, and it'll be third down and long for Alma. Third down, and let's call it uh, at least nine. Have to move the ball out to the 43. Clock is running, 9.48. The clock is not on Alma's side right now. No. They need to, uh, they need to get some first downs here on this drive. They can't go three and out. Connor Stacy, Jacob Corsi wide to the left side. On third down and nine, Hatcher, shotgun. Rolling out to his left. One to throw, in some trouble. Mattis lets it go, and it's incomplete, and it'll be fourth down. Ball is marked at the 34-yard line. Or down at nine. And Matthew Schlegel back to punt, standing on his own 20. Jalen Wright back deep to receive. Good snap. Schlegel, high kick. Kick away from Wright. It takes a Clarksville bounce and stops right at the Clarksville 45-yard line. So the Panthers will have... A first and 10 at their own 45. 9.15 left to play in the ball game. They lead 27 to 14 over Alma at homecoming. That's uh, the defense, uh, they, they've got to come up with a yeah, play. They've got, got, to, got to come got, up with a play here. Got to stop them. First down and 10, Wildcat package, Jalen Wright. Arthur Alvarez, the tailbacks. Direct snap goes to Alvarez, trying the left side, following right. Across the 45, carries it out to midfield and to the Alma 49. Again on the play of six yards, second down and four. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> Did you see? Yeah, Bradley, Bradley Johnson, Johnson he took, tried to take that towel to the ref. Rev was like, "No, nah, take it inside." Yeah, I'm not. Uh, hey, listen, I'm not your towel boy. <laughs> not the laundry boy. Yeah. <laughs> Second down and four for the Panthers. Alvarez and right in the backfield. Ball goes to right. Picks up the first down as he carries the ball inside the Airedale 45. They're going to mark him all the way to the 43-yard line. And that will move the change down yeah. to There's, first and ten. Hey, when you when you're getting a push like that, you can't stop it. They're just getting a big push off the line.
First down and 10 Panthers. Ball at the Airedale 43. Clock is running. 8.03 left to play in the game. They lead 27 to 14. They run a misdirection back to Buckner. Buckner inside the 35 to the 30. Carry the football all the way down to the Airedale 29 yard line and move the chains again. First and 10, Clarksville. And I think Corson made a tackle, but he actually, he missed him. He, uh, he come in so fast around the end, they brought it back and shut up and then he had to chase it down from behind to catch him. Alvarez and Wright in the backfield, shotgun. For, and uh, Panthers were gonna move, so it'll be first and 15. That was the center, number 55, Brantley Johnson, who who moved before the snap. I don't get that. How does the center move before the snap? He's, uh, he's not the center. No, he's not the center. He's, he's right, right next guard. to him. Yeah. He's right yeah. Guard. He's tucked up right next to him, man, right on his hip. Wright gets the call. Jalen inside the 30. Picks up seven yards on the carry. It'll be second down and eight now for the Panthers. Clock is under seven minutes to play in this ball game. And when they only throw a couple of times, it, it yeah. doesn't stop the clock. Yeah, that clock just keeps ticking. Time management. Second down and eight. Airedales with all three of their timeouts left. Alvarez and right. Alvarez keeps the football, trying to get outside, has the corner inside the 20. Alvarez to the 19. Looks like it's going to be another Panther first down. Let's wait on the spot. Just a little bit shorter to be third down and short now from the Airedale 19. Hmm. I have a feeling I know what play they're going to call. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be Jalen Wright off the right side. Wildcat. Jalen Wright off the right side. Picks up the first down. Carries it down to the 16. It'll be first down and 10. Clarksville. Seth Cole on the tackle. I wonder what the PA announcer would do if he said, uh, you know, it's another uh, Panther and nobody said first down. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Ball is spotted at the 17. First down and 10, Clarksville. They're just taking their time now. Yeah, Clock is at 5.30. Yeah, they're, I mean, they're going to run it all the way down to the 4, and then they'll take a timeout. Yeah, tracks him off the field. He's, yep. he's hurt. I think he is, too. Clarksville takes uh, its first timeout of the second half. Stops the clock, 5.23 to play in the ball game. Clarksville leads Alma 27-14. to 14. Back with more from Panther Stadium in just a moment. Welcome back, everyone. First down and 10. And the penalty flag comes in before the play's ever 
underway. It's a false start on Clarksville. Move the ball back five yards, first and 15. I think that was on uh, Matt Colvin. Come to the sidelines yeah. like, Coach, it wasn't me. Then <laughs> 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 he went back in the game. He goes, yes, it was. Get back in there. <laughs> First down and 15, the ball is on the Airedale 22. Sure would be nice to have a fumbled scoop and score right here with it. Right, Alvarez. Alvarez gets the call. Alvarez bounces it back to the left. Carries it inside the 20, down to about the 17-yard line, where it'll be second down and 10 for the Panthers. But five yard or five minutes left to play in this ball game. 27 to 14, Panthers with the lead. Cole Chrisman brings in the player from the sidelines. It's either going to be right to the right or Alvarez to the left, one of the two. <laughs> you know what? They have uh, they have number 20. It's not Jalen Wright in there, is it? No, he's out. He's out. Alvarez, misdirection, carries it inside the 15 down to the 10. It'll be third down and two, maybe three, close to three. And Alma's going to take a timeout. 4.30 left to play in the ball game. 27 to 14, Clarksville with the lead. Back with more from Panther Stadium in just a moment. Ed Welcome back, everyone. Four minutes, 30 seconds left to play in the ball game. Alma takes a timeout to stop the clock. Parks will be facing third down and four from the Airedale 11. Long extended timeout there. Yeah, that was a long timeout. Jalen Wright back in the ball game. Alvarez on the left, right on the right. Third down and four. Wright gets the snap. Wright inside the 10. We'll have the first down as he carries it inside the 5. Touchdown. Jalen Wright over the left side. Carries it in for the Clarksville touchdown. 33-14 to 14 Panthers with the PAT coming up. A. Shea will attempt the extra point. Good snap, good hold. Kick is up. And it is good. 34 to 14. Clarksville with the lead. 424 left to play in the ball game. Back with more from Panther Stadium right after this. Four minutes, 24 seconds left to play in the game. 34 to 14. Airedale's facing a three-score <laughs> deficit. On the road tonight in Clarksville. Beautiful weather night tonight, Man, Mike. You can nice. tell, though, that the uh, the storms are rolling in from the hurricane that was off the coast. The winds were blowing. Had a little bit of sprinkling, actually, this morning down this way. Yeah. A. Shea kicking off. Kick it high. Kick it over to Kevin Mills at 15, 20. Kevin Mills, 25. Mills turns at the 30, out to the 34-yard line. Kevin Mills doing a good job tonight on returns. 
Airedales will have the football first and 10 on their own 34-yard line. Two timeouts left for the Airedales. 4-16 to play in the ball game. They trail 34-14. to Well, we'll see what we got. Hatcher. It's gone the distance of quarterback. Shotgun. Hatcher. Hands off. Cronister. Across the 35 out to the 40. I thought I thought they had him dead to rights in the backfield, Mike, and somehow Logan come out of there, and now there's a injured Panther down. So an official's timeout. Let's, let's take this timeout with him. 404 left to play in the ball. Yep, he's up and he's gonna he's gonna walk off. We won't take the timeout. Let's just stay with him. That was uh yeah, Brantley, Brantley Johnson. Johnson. Yeah. I think he might have to get up. I think he got the wind knocked yeah, out. Yeah, I think of him. he did too. Yeah. <laughs> Second down and four with the ball resting on the Airedale 40. Cronister in the backfield with Hatcher. Gets the call. Left side. Room to run. 45. Midfield. Logan's going to be hit and stopped after a nice carry off the left side. Ball is right on the midfield stripe. First down and 10, Alma on the left hash. Connor Stacy goes to the right. Corsi goes to the left. Cronister goes to the right. Cronister to the 45, to the 40. Cronister down the sidelines and knocked out of bounds at the Panther. 30, where are they going to mark it at? 34? 34 yard line. First down at 10, Alma. They're going to mark it on the 36 now. If first they were standing, and I, I, you know, I'm, I'm like, wait a minute. I, I thought he was out of bounds before the 35, and that's right. That's a good call. Ball is down on the 36. First down at 10, Airedales. Stacy, Corsi to the right. Cronister in the backfield. Wide sides to the left. Logan cuts it to the right. Inside the 35, inside the 30. Logan Cronister inside the 20. Cronister would not be denied that trip as he carries it to the 19 of Clarksville, but Alma's walking back. There was yeah. a penalty. It's going to be holding on the Airedales. I'll tell you, that's a spot foul from the 27. So they'll mark off 10 yards. Move it back out to the 37. It will be first down and 11. Hey, Coach, he's having a, he's having having a little discussion chat. with him. Yeah, <laughs> it's the white hat. He's had a little discussion with him. Three minutes, 20 seconds left to play. Now he's in the sideline, Judge Zier. Uh oh, here we go. Yeah, we're set to play now. Corsi wide to the left. Cronister in the backfield with Hatcher. Shotgun formation for the Airedales on first and 11. From the 37, now they're trying still... To, trying to get the clock set. Yeah, getting the clock set. Getting everything reset now. A little delay. Uh, they're go. going to put it back to 323. I see what they're doing now. Okay. All right, we're good now. And... Here we go. Cronister, right side. Cronister inside the 35 to the 34. Nice hit by number four, Miles Castleman. Gain of three on the play. Second down and eight for the Airedales. Now they put Braden Allen in the backfield, just to the left of Cronister. Five-yard penalty on the Panthers. They were a little too eager to get across yeah. that line of scrimmage, Mike. And nice hard count from Hatcher. Draws them off sides, and it will be second down. And what, four? Four. Two fifty and counting left to play in the ball game. 34-14. Clarksville in the lead. 
Play action. Throwing it over the middle. Looking downfield for Connor Stacy. It's broken up at the goal line. He tripped over his own feet and lost his stride, and that that probably cost him because he had that guy beat. He had him beat. He was behind him, and he just he got stuck. He's just I think he tripped over the five yard line. What it was? Yeah. <laughs> Man, they have been just right there, They're right the close, close on that play tonight. Well, I, several of them. I yep. mean, they've had their yep. hands on the football and then passes. Of course, he goes wide to the left side. Cronister in the backfield with Hatcher. On third down and four. Cronister. Cronister has the first down. Breaks away. 20-15. Cronister thrown down out of bounds at the 13-yard line. They'll stop the clock with 220 or 233 left to play in the uh, in the ball game. Logan Cronister carrying it off the left side. Picks up the first and ten for the Airedales. There you go. First down and 10 from the just inside the 13. Left hash mark. Cronister in the backfield from the 13. They send trips to the right side. That's Mills, Relliford, Corsi. And they drag Relliford. Play action. Hatcher throws. It's picked off. Third interception of the night for the Panthers. He threw into double coverage on the right side. And so the Panthers will stop that drive with a minute 55 left to play in the ball game. So the Panthers will have the football first down at 10 at their own 11 yard line. Now the Panthers shift. Everybody to the right. Alvarez gets the call. Turning it upfield to the 15, to the 16-yard line. Minute 47 left to play in the game. Clock continues to run. Second down and five now for Clarksville. Just run this all the way down. Yeah, they're going to take it down. Close to a minute whenever they snap the football. Second down and five. Right, the carrier on the right side. Picks up the first down. And once they uh, spot the ball, it'll be a minute three left to play. Boylton comes to town next Friday night at Alma. Kickoff set at seven o'clock. Can't make it to the uh, to the stadium. You can tune us in on the Marshall 96.7, also AM 12:30. As always on the Airedale live stream. Uh, yeah. 39 seconds left to play. They're going to have snap it one more time. Play clock's at four. They'll snap it one more time, and that'll do it. Castleman takes a knee, and that's going to do it. Final score tonight, Clarksville 34, Alma 14, and Clarksville's going to win their homecoming. Let me tell you something. You know, them boys are giving each team, they're just giving their, their, their – uh, a lot of hands out that they're going on. They, they oh, yeah. played a good game, man. They yeah. really did. Played a good, clean game. It was a good, clean game. Let's take a quick timeout. We'll come back with the uh, CSI Radiator post game reports coming your way next on the Marshall AM uh, FM uh, 96.7 and AM 1230.
as you leave. And we would appreciate that. That's one of our uh, custodial staff. Again, we're glad you came out to the uh, to the singing tonight. For the crew in the press box, I'm Jim Crone. We want to wish everyone a pleasant evening. Time for our uh, Warren Robertson shelter insurance hard collision of the ball game. Nathan Whalen run away with this thing tonight as he uh, blindsided the quarterback in the first half, and I think uh, they watched uh, watched him after that pretty much. Uh, yeah. Nathan played a good ball game tonight, and uh, well, he uh, good clean hit. Uh, so he had a uh, a direct path to the quarterback, and caused the uh, the play to be uh, the the pass to be incomplete. So Nathan Whalen is our Warren Robertson shelter insurance hard collision of the ball game player tonight. As we move into the CSI Radiator Repair post game report, CSI Radiator from uh, commercial to uh, industrial, to cars, trucks, SUVs, motorhomes, farm equipment. As a radiator, the guys and gals at CSI can flush it, fill it, or if it's